How the devil are you people? Um, I hope you're well. It's been a while. It's been a while. Um, so I'm back with another stream. I just want to make sure everything's working. Uh, two seconds. I've got to... Uh... God, this phone's so rubbish. Um... Technology, who needs it? Yeah, it's all working good. It's all working good. So I hope your Saturday night's going very well. Um, so, GTA um, Part 8 of the story mode. Um, it's been pretty good so far. I can't remember where I left off. It's been a good while. Um, but I'm looking forward to doing this stream tonight. It's going to be fun. Um so yeah, hopefully I'll uh, I'll get a few people watching. I know um, one of my uh, good friends is streaming at the moment. He's streaming a football game. Uh, if you are watching, please go over and show him some love. His name is the Old School Gunner. Subscribe to his channel, uh, like his video, and drop a little comment saying the McManus Gaming sent you there. Um, right, without further ado, let's crack on with a stream. So I'm Franklin. What am I doing? Oh, it's my motorbike, so what's the crack here? What am I doing? Because it's been a while, I can't remember where I left off. Okay, so I go back to Franklin's old house. Okay, well, let's do that then. I'll go in the car. If I remember rightly, I had something put away in the, uh, in the garage. So let's go and have a look, see what we got in there. Uh, let's go. Right, where is it? There we go. What's in here? Oh, I thought putting a car, a put a car in here. Never mind. It's all good. It's all good. Right, so so yeah, it's been a little while. So I've got to remember what it is I'm doing. I can't remember where I got up to. Um, so it should be good fun. But yeah, I hope you're all having a good Saturday. Um, what have you been up to? What's your weekend like at the moment? Have you had a good one? Have you um, got any plans for Sunday? I know I haven't. It's the first weekend where I can actually chill and not do anything. The last few weekends have been mental. Work has been horrendous. It's just been so frigging busy. Um, oh, hello. Be careful. I've got to be careful. I've had like four Disarano and Cokes today, so... Or tonight. I don't drink in the day, really. Not anymore. Um, make it out what you will. Maybe I should. Who knows? Um, anyway, yeah, so... Today is. The hell was that? Drive her on, son. Drive her on, son. Who was that? Just someone rambling, being a dick. Guys, girls, if you could subscribe to the old school gunner, um, he's just recently Center hit. Sideways. Center sideways. Well, there you go. Normal Saturday night for some people. Um. Yeah, so if you could, if anyone's watching, if you could subscribe to the old school gunner, he's recently just hit 2.1k. Um, he really does put the hours in. Um, recently moved back to Switzerland. He's uh, not actually from there, but he uh, he lives there now. He lived there a few years ago, moved over to London, moved back um, for better opportunities, let's hope. So, um, yeah, if you could um, subscribe to his channel, I'd appreciate it, and I'm sure he would too. And if you could subscribe to my channel, that'd be great and all. So, um, yeah. What's happening? Let's see what my driving's like tonight. I've had like four Disarronos tonight. So, um, legally I shouldn't be driving. But, you know, it's not it's not real driving, is it? It's a game. So, I'm just rambling on now. So, right. I always love hearing the random conversations that the... Uh, NPCs have very, uh, very interesting. Some of them. Mm 
What do you mean you can't feel your legs? I don't even want to know. Oh, yeah, there's always that one that likes to cut in. Fuck this. How'd you like that, eh? Eh? That is the best part about being Franklin. I mean, he's a great, he's a great character anyway, but you can do the whole sort of slow motion thing when you're driving, so that's pretty cool. Hey! hey. Oh, I'm in the wrong lane. Shit. Yep. So yeah, he's uh, Dave uh, Old School Gun is actually streaming the Porto game at the moment. So uh, yeah, go and give him some love, by all means, and um, give him you know subscribe to his channel, stick a thumbs up on his video, and also if you can show me some love, not in a weird way, but show me some love, you know, as a, a thumbs up or subscription. That'd be great. I'd appreciate that. I can't believe, like, literally, last stream I did, I had, like, 50... I think it was, like, 53 subscribers. I'm now on 64. That's mad. So, oh, hello. What's up here? So, all you people that have subscribed, thank you so much. I do appreciate it. I mean, I haven't put a video out for, like, a month. So, um, yeah, thank you. Really appreciate that. It means a lot. So, yeah, this is a bit of a downgrade from where Franklin's currently living, isn't it? It's a bit of a shithole. <laughs> so what have I got to do? I'm trying to remember. Why does he have to go back? Okay, I'll just leave in the car then. And... Oh, I know now. We are women. Here are We are women. Here are shouts. We are women. We have no doubt. We are women. We are free. We are Shut the fuck up. Now, people think I swear a lot. This guy's worse than me. What's up, homie? Huh? Oh. Jeez. I have met a lot of assholes in my life, but you, well, you're not long for this world if this is the way you fucking act. You little jumped up motherfucker. <laughs> Look, how about this, man? Calm down. It was funny at first, man. I made a mistake. Unfortunately, man, you failed. It was funny, all right? I apologize. I accept <laughs> your apology. Okay. All right, so Trevor's not really a guy you want to fuck with. Let's hug it out. Right? You're fucking gotcha. Oh, fuck, no, I'm not funny. Fucking asshole. Oh, fuck. I, I had a difficult... Damn, man, you all right? Just, I'm just fucking on edge, you know? Look, I love you, right? But I would have... I would have... Fucking! Look, man, Lester said you had some information for us about Michael. Michael? Fuck Michael, I hope he's dead. Man, I know y'all two, man. Come on, man. You two had beef before. But what the fuck happened in North Yankton? Somebody pinched him, man. Who? My friend Ron met these Chinese assholes. They're from Yangshan in China. We had some problems. 
They mistakenly thought Michael was a human being and kidnapped him. Yeah, and now it looks like they're holding him somewhere in the city. Yes. Come on, bro. Well, go fuck yourself. You want that piece of shit? That's your fucking business, all right? He's dead to me, all right? And chances are, if and when I see him, he's gonna be dead to everyone else as well. <laughs> hey, come on, bro. Don't do that. You're pushing your luck, pal. So, Trevor's found that, out, what? obviously. What oh, hello. Trevor say man Michael's being held by a Chinese crew because of Trevor the irony isn't lost I'm sending you an app for your phone but Michael's cell just came back online this will track its signal it'll work better the closer you get be careful sure so obviously well done I told you he ain't my G laugh don't try to persuade me you're not lovers he's laughing at you you fucking idiot you're making a mistake. It costs a lot of money to track you down. I had to call in every favor I could in the Midwest. And then you kill several good men. Good day, huh? Good day. Good fucking day to you! Kill him! <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh. No, hey, hey, hey! Hey, that's a big fucking fuck mistake! <laughs> so Michael is in a fucking terrible position right now. So, so where's this app? So I've got to go and rescue Michael, basically, because Trevor's given up on him because Trevor found out that Michael uh, shot the job I think that they were going to do and um, Brad got shot and Trevor was led to believe that Brad had actually been incarcerated in a federal prison turns out Brad took the place of Michael in the grave oh fuck and uh, yeah he's, he'd be quite happy if Michael was dead right now because he, he's basically lied not only has he lied about being dead but, oh fuck, where am I going? The whole thing about Brad, Brad sending Trevor letters and emails and stuff from prison it was actually Dave Norton. Right, this will be fun. Here we go. So, Franklin's got to be the hero and go in there. Okay, here we go. I just filled him with bullets and he just... He didn't die. Wonderful. Can I have some of this? Tell me he didn't survive that. There's no way he survived that. Hang on a minute, I just put a bullet in your head.
How the hell did he survive? Seriously, come on. Jesus Christ. Hang on a minute, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I've just killed this guy, he's still here. Are you joking? Oh my god, is he indestructible? No. You want me to wait? Oh, what way to go? Oof. Too fucking many, man. Get in the car, for Christ's sake. Jeez Louise. Oh, what a dick, you... Motherfucker. You've been kind of reckless, homie. Nice driving. Yeah, I won't go that far, mate. I've destroyed this car. Yeah. Woo. 
back there on that meat hook? I thought it was over. When the dude had the knife on me, man, I thought the same thing. Frank, thank you, bro. You didn't have to. Yeah, bro, of course I did. If this shit means anything, shit, the second I knew. Hey, Oof. how'd you even find me? Lester sent me this app. That's right, how the hell do I get out of wherever I am? Oh, my God. This was once a nice car. <laughs> Told me in the end, how'd they pinch you anyway? Oh shit. We're up there, and Trevor freaks the fuck out. He was about to kill me, Franklin. And then these Chinese guys show up, they take me, he fucks up. For real? <laughs> Too real. Okay. Well, if you don't want to talk about that, how about Devin West? West? What about him? We delivered the last of them cars, only he ain't paid us yet. Says he's gonna invest the fucking money. Well, he's a clever guy. You know, that might not be such a bad idea. Might not be such a bad idea. Mm. Are you fucking serious? Look, Franklin, you're gonna get your money, okay? From the sounds of it, you'll even get some interest, too. And I got this other deal with Weston down at the film studio. So we gotta wait for that to play out before I got any leverage over your deal. For real? Come on, Franklin. I've had my feet chained to a meat hook for the last few hours. Give me some time. I'll figure it out. I promise. Yeah. Whatever. Hey man, we're gonna need some body work done. Whatever. Oh, where am I going? Oh! Stay there. No. Oh, for God's sake. Oh, my God. Right, okay. Let's go. This car is ruined. All right, I'll see you. Show. Hey, you sure you don't want to come in? What, your big empty ass house? Dog, I'm depressed enough already. All right. Well, listen, thanks. Look, man, before you go, what the fuck happened up there? I said, Trevor went crazy, tried to kill me, I got jumped by the Chinese. Man, before all this, I'm talking about the fig. Trevor, this guy Brad, man. I know what you meant. I made a judgment call. I don't know if it was the right one. I did what I thought I had to do. I had a young family, Franklin. I was running with a crew of crazy motherfuckers with nothing to lose. I saw an out. A future for me, for my family. I took it. You took it? Man, you burned every motherfucker you've ever known. It was that or die. <sighs> Look, I know it sounds cold. I don't expect you to understand it. Not yet, but you will. When you got ties of your own. You wake up one day, and, and your legs, they just give. You just can't run anymore. All right, man, look. You watch your back, all right? When Trevor finds out you're still alive, I don't know what the fuck he gonna do. Don't worry about Trevor. He's not gonna get near me. Hey, you watch your back. You hear me? Dog, it ain't me he coming for. We straight. It's you, dog. It's you. Well, there you go. Yeah, I'd be a bit worried, like a big house like that, and you're staying there by yourself. Hmm. It's a nice house, though. Big up to Aiden, by the way. He's a. Uh, 
mate of mine and old schools. He's out on the lash tonight. Hope you have a good night tonight, my friend. Um, don't do anything I wouldn't do. That's all I'll say. <laughs> right, so... What's the first mission with Michael? Okay, I've got to see Solomon. Okay. Let's find where he is on the map. There we are. Yoo -hoo. Oh God. Charming. <laughs> okay. That's that was a bit rude, weren't it? Blimey. Did you run? <laughs> it is interesting, like hearing what some of the NPCs say on this game. Where is he? I'll go to the wrong place. I'll take go to Solomon. I'll... Nothing, no? Okay. <laughs> See what I mean by some of the interesting conversations the NPCs have. Oh, he's over here, okay. Yo, 
Shit, that bed. Back to the car, run a little sod over. You demented old egg. Oh, shit, sorry. That's on you, dickwad. Paraplegic, but you can't feel anything. Ah, uh, yeah, you're throwing me softballs. Rum runner. But uh, speaking of accidents, those guys had one. Oh, if only we'd met 20 years ago, Michael. Maybe I wouldn't be in this mess. Yeah, you and me both, brother. Look, it's a pain, I know. But could you come by the studio now? I got something I'd like to show you. Yeah, of course. I'll be right over. I feel you. Come in. Come in. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, it turns out maybe I'm cut out for the movie business after all, huh? My friend, you're a sentimental thug with zero artistic training and nothing interesting to say. I would say you're overqualified. <laughs> anyway, shut up and take a look at that. Oh. Oh. Fucking A. Feels good, doesn't it? Feels like I've finally done something with my life. Actually done something. A movie. Welcome to show business. Nothing but make-believe will ever feel quite real again. <laughs> All right, Michael, come on. Let me show you some rushes. I think you're gonna love it, but it'd be great to hear your notes. Hey, baby. I just wanted to tell you, I'm finally doing something with my life. I'm making a movie. A real one. Call me.
smiling face with sunglasses. Nice motor. What's going on? Oh, just enjoying a little labor dispute. See, we're about to do something really really bad. So I need to present myself as a proper textile magnet, so... So you stop making anything? Nothing looks more suspicious in America than someone who's actually prepared to make something. <laughs> Jesus. What about you? Oh, pocket, Trevor. We're having some problems. Brad. Yeah, what else? Yes, anyway... The Union Depository is on Shit, I was on mute the whole time. Oh, fuck. Um, oh. There goes that conversation. Um, yeah, I was just saying, Dave, um, what's the Porto score? Is it still going on or is it finished? <laughs> I was on mute all that time and there's me chatting away. What a moron. Ah, fuck you, Dave. Yeah, nice motor. Yeah, it is a nice motor. Um, not sure what model it is, but I think it's supposed to be like an Audi, but I'm not sure why. What's a Porto? Decent. Decent. Awesome. Well, that's a good result for Porto. Good team. Some kind of a killer and a thief. So, so there's some. Obviously, everyone, uh, Otto Gunners, an Irishman. He told me he's going to be listening to. Oh, oh dear, that's not good. So Dave's an Irishman. Otto Gunners, an Irishman. He's a. Uh... Oh Christ! And he said basically tomorrow he's having a whole day of um, listening to Bewitched, Boys Own, uh, who else? Westlife. Um, other Irish bands. I'm a man of my word. Don't know. But he's gonna hey, be go. listening to them free all day. Um big fan apparently. Let's go. 
Who knew? Who knew? Tim and Galasaurus are going to be sitting there wooing each other with Westlife. Oh. <laughs> well, I'm not judging you, Dave. Whatever flicks, whatever flicks your so switch, you mate. Any idea how we'll do this? Scope it out? Uh, not really, but I thought we'd start by finding a way into the building. We're going in through the parking lot? No, no, no. We're waiting for someone to come out of it. A janitor. All right. And how's that going to get If you haven't set? already, ladies and gents, anyone that is watching, you can subscribe to the Old School Gunner. Uh, and like his videos, give him a watch. He does an amazing content. Um, he's probably one of the better football uh, watch along YouTubers there is. He talks a lot of sense, and um, yeah, he's he's a good he's a good host. Does his thing, and uh, yeah, he's got a lot of uh, subscribers of recent uh, recent days. He's uh, actually hit 2.1k, which is amazing. He's been really putting the hours in. If you could go and subscribe to him, I'm sure he'd appreciate it. I know I would too. this uh, another guy so what do you think about this whole messed up situation I think they'll either kill you after this is done or keep you doing these I am the business me because someone else has done it for well, it's nothing like blind your own trumpet yeah, is there right. <laughs> oh dear but um yeah he, he didn't really knocking it out of the park lately mate so that's good here we Fair go. play to you. Nope. Can't knock so you for that. Do? Oh, what can we do? We do the job. Finally hit well, well over two k, which is great. Doing whatever else you're doing, that might be a way out. Yeah, well, a way out is exactly what I need. I'm a class act. Something's coming. Certainly something. Superb YouTuber. It's hard to get motivated mm. on a job without financial You're incentive. right, you're a good you YouTuber. Superb yeah, when you hit that 3k. Won't be there for the crew. <laughs> I'm gonna ask Mr. <laughs> no, you're doing really well, mate. It's really good. Cash from the um, score. We need it's actually quite nice yeah, to watch someone in the evenings as well, because it's like the wife has to tell her usually, and it's just like... Magnificent. Magnificent. Well, that's a stretch. Um, come on. This is not the car we're looking for. Fuck. Um, yeah, it's quite nice to actually watch someone in the evenings because like, obviously the wife has free reign of the telly, so all her shit's on. So, I've like, eh, got nothing to watch. <laughs> so, yeah, it's good, man. You're doing really well. You're making us proud. <laughs> Fucking idiot, I am. That's got to be the guy, innit? There she is. You know the drill. A couple of car lengths. What's Thanks, man. This guy gets wherever he's going. You're welcome, he's buddy. You're welcome. Package. Huh, I can't tell if that's some creepy euphemism or You're a plain statement hard work, of facts. Anyway, not me. It's whatever you want it to be. If the guy isn't an FIB super agent, maybe close up this gap some. <laughs> okay. Hey, you mind? Put away the smartphone or pad or whatever the hell that is for a minute. No surfing while I'm trying to take I have my own community now. A good group. You got a good group and Anthony, yeah. Like when he's not Yeah, when he's not putting condoms over his head doing bank trying to do bank jobs and then passing out into the FIB's West Coast headquarters. You're gonna need more than a janitor's license plate number. No, he's a good lad, I like Anthony. Well you got good banter. That's it. I mean, other than a few missing expletives in terms of racial abuse. Luca the strong man. Luca the idiot. Um look, he's a nice kid, but I mean he's definitely the saint, I don't know. Saint not quite right there. I was watching one of Josh's streams. I forgot I told you about it. And he was like, um, when we won, what was it last week, last Sunday? And um, so, yeah, we top of the league. I'm going to go out and get drunk. And he was like, it's a Sunday night, mate. 
What do we need from him? We need Get drunk on a Sunday, really? It's all right if you ain't got work next day, but it's a bit premature. We're only top of the league at the moment. We haven't actually won the league. If we'd won the league, I'd get it. But and then he done us. He put his like Streamyard link into uh, Josh's chat, which you know how I feel about that. It's like someone's streaming. Why are you doing that? It's just like self promotion, and and that's one of the things I think Arsenal Alex says that he doesn't like. And I wouldn't like it either. Um, but yeah, he did a stream. He did a stream, and then deleted it. And like, I think it was who's the guy with the tash? Is it Rory? He turned around and said he's actually deleted his stream. He started laughing, and they all had a bit of a laugh. And then he said, um, "I deleted my stream because people were phoning up all the time when I was doing my stream." Well, if that was the case, stop down the road If that was the case, surely you would have just not bothered putting the stream on YouTube and then just done it another time or, or turned your yeah, phone on to have a word. I don't Harvey know, turned your phone on to fucking silent or something but yeah he's a bit a bit of a dope isn't he he's a useless shite that boy a bit like someone else well this bloke might look like someone beginning with J. You getting any more phone calls, Dave? I hope not. I hope the little twat that was doing it has stopped now. A real muppet. Oh, just a bit. Just a bit. No more phone calls. Good. Get another one of those, Harvey? Some people are just fucking idiots, aren't they, mate? Who are you? The guy with your best interests at heart. I think they're being you clever. Money, all you gotta do is take a little vacation. <laughs> I work two jobs, man. Take any break I can get. Good. Hey, you want the beer? Nah, I'll just take the overalls. Oh, and your ID. It's in there. Oh, and Harvey. I probably don't need to say this. But you don't play ball? I'll be forced to do something I really don't want to do. Enjoy your beer. Cool game. It's all right, isn't it? It's all right. I'm kind of looking forward to the new uh, GTA when it comes out. Um, GTA 6 is meant to be like a massive map, and you can go oh, yeah. all over the place. Take so it looks um, looks and sounds really good. I do love this game. Characters, everything. Yeah. Well, that's the thing with GTA games. I mean, they always. Yes, you were right. You know, make a good storyline and good characters, and I suppose that's why they take so long to like make the next one. But um, I mean, they've milked this one for as much as they can, I think, and it's about time they released a new one. It's been a long time. It's what, about 13 years ago, maybe. No, 10 years, 11 years ago. Sorry, that's mad. Yeah, I do. If it used to be like three or four years. A couple of hundred million dollars worth of government security. Millions. They blew that much. Government but, um, contracts. License to steal. Yeah, I'm looking forward to the new one. And once I've completed this. Yeah, 2013. So what? Nearly 11 years. Mad, isn't it? But um. Yeah, after I've completed this game, I'll be doing Red Dead 2. I only played a little bit of it, but I'll probably just start from the beginning and just... I'm sort of holding off playing on that at the moment. But from what I've played of it, visually, it looks stunning, mate. Honestly, so good. So, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to... game is long overdue. Yeah, you'd think so. I mean, like, I can't believe how long it's taken. Like, they've really sort of flogged uh, this one to death. Here. I mean, I used to do, like, a lot of online content years ago before I did, like, YouTube. I stopped doing it now because you get all the tryhards and the sweaties on there. And I just got bored of smashing them to pieces. Um, and it was like... Um, to buy anything on there, like, you could get your dream car or get, like, a certain car with guns or bombs on it or anything. 
you'd have to have like stupid amounts of money so you'd have to sort of buy it's like you know when you used to play fifa you could do fifa ultimate team you'd have to buy things to to um oh, what's the word i'm looking for to get the best of the best well that's kind of what you have to do on this as well when you're doing it online and i just thought what am i paying into for christ's sake it's just a waste of money so yeah i gave up on uh online It's a bit of a con. Weakness or a way in. Next time I meet a morally destitute, totally delusional, highly corrupt government agent. I hope he's a nice one. Man, I'm not going on that motherfucker by myself. No, 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 no. Nobody is going in. We need to do some recon. We need a little more information. She. I need the architectural plans, but they're not online anywhere. So I'm going to need paper copies. Now the architect's name is Chip Peterson. This was his first big commission, and the office is down in Backlot City. All right. Franklin, you go tell him for a little while, and then we'll talk. All right, dog, I got you. Try not to hurt yourself. Oh, good, good, good. So I've got to go back to Michael's now. So I I literally can't remember what he's I'm supposed to do now. Are the family back? I don't know. Oh, for Christ's sake, you told me to go that way. Ain't you? Oh. It's the only thing with this map, it doesn't sort of catch up on time. Like, you know, old GPS thing. What's, why is there a car there? Must be something in the lock-up. Old oh, police lock-up now, you can keep it. I'd be an old banger, I'm not worried. <laughs> Excuse me. If it was Franklin or someone, then maybe. But it would only be an old piece of shit I've nicked or something, so... Mrs. knows me so well, by the way. I said I was probably streaming till about one, two o'clock, so she's <laughs> she's gone to bed now. And she just, before she did, she come down, brought my uh, duvet down, <laughs> left it on the sofa. <laughs> oh dear. Because I don't really want to wake her, I said. So. Because I sort of. Our floorboards in our bedroom are a little bit creaky, so it's just like, yeah. I'll end up waking her up. Fuck off. Oh, hello. Someone want to talk? Oh, okay. What the fuck is that? That looks Check gay. Check my phone. Oh, hold on, mate. Hold on. You can ignore me. Hi, Dave. But you can. You just me. Oh, fucking no way. Not a chance. Not getting involved with that. Nope. 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 Never gonna happen. Hey, how you doing? Hey, great. Really great. How are you? Well, I know how you are. Do you? Yes. It's did you really Did you reply back to him? Once you've studied the literature and done the classwork and studied in a group, it's really obvious. I'm getting really close now. Close to 
everything. And you, well, you're still lost. You live in the happiest place in the world, and yet you feel like life is passing you by? That's because you don't know anything at all. Everything you know is a lie. Everything. Listen, no, I didn't. Nah. Go to EpsilonProgram.com and prepare to be amazed. Remember, the tract has not yet been written. Why does he want me to unblock him? Like, he's, 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 listen, after everything he's, what I've heard, I'm, not, I'm really not interested. So... We are all related, father brother. We're all related. Let's put a down on tonight, isn't it? <laughs> I um I got you, bro. Yeah, man. Uh, look, you, you know why I don't wanna you know after what I've heard. No thanks. Creepy. But yeah, anyway, let's talk about something else. <laughs> Just like me at my house, getting pissed while everyone's gone. <laughs> oh, this little hey. punk! <clears throat> Prediction for the man up the S Liverpool flash. My prediction? It's going to be pain. No, it's, that's, that's a terrible Irish accent. Um, I think Liverpool are going to fucking destroy him. Um, Darwin Nunes looks good at the moment. Looks very good at the moment. Um, if Salah's fit, again, it's going to be a demolition job, I think. I think I'm going to say 4-0. I think Liverpool... Are a very very good side, and um, yeah, you know I just haven't got a good enough team. Ah, to be sure, no. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I don't, I don't think um, United have got enough in their locker to to give them a, a decent enough game and to stop them. I think if Liverpool turn, want to turn it on, which I think they will, it'll be a demolition job. And also, for years, it's always been a massive game. Liverpool, Man United, the hatred between both. Um, so, yeah, I think I think Liverpool, mate. What about you? I'm probably going to be dead in a couple of weeks anyway. Please don't die, OK? Liverpool are on it right now. They battered Man City. Yeah, that's the thing. And I'm hoping we can do that when we play Man City. I really do. I'd love to. I don't want to sort of go there and be like, well, we're going to lose. I'd love, I just want us to do something. Like, if we're that serious. Yeah, it's, yeah, definitely. If we're that serious about winning the league, we've got to try and stop Man City and try and beat them. I think half the problem is we didn't buy a striker. Um, and that are sticking with Rashford. Good luck with that, then, because I think he wants to go. Um, but he's on such big wages. He's taking his wages over his career, isn't he, really? I mean, he's still going to live his... It is, because, do you know what? He's got, the, he's got the ability to be one of the greatest. He really has. And I know, like, that's a bit of a big statement. But if he wanted it enough, he could be. We, we've we seen him do things, you know what I mean? We've seen him score wonder goals. We've seen him play well and do great things for England, from you know, from years ago. But 
late lately it's like he just doesn't give a fuck uh, so what's Bad happened bits. like do you think uh, for me yeah. i wonder if it was too much too young yeah, I, get it. I know he's just trying to sure. gone, enjoy so you know a bit of time of going out on the piss and going out of his mates and, and but you've got to think to yourself well you've got to remember you know united pay your wages and you're on astronomical wages I don't know, I think maybe he just wanted, you know, he's done everything at such a young age, he's been on such a, you know, he's been in everyone's sights from what, 16, 17? I don't know how old he is now, what, 23, 24? So he's probably thinking to himself, well, you know, I want to let me air down a bit, I haven't really had any time to enjoy to myself and but at the same time i just think to myself you're getting so much money you could wait you know till the end of the season go out party with your mates afterwards parties will always be there your football career is short so yeah it'd be interesting to see i'd like him to turn it around because i do think he's a decent player but i just think he's just it's not really he's not really trying like he used to Anything for you, sweetheart. I had some really good work there, you shit! There's a lot more where that came from, Holmes. Is he alive? Yeah, he's fine. Listen, Amanda. He deserves a slap just for having a man bun, doesn't he? I just... What he's trying to say, Mom, is that he's a pathetic old drunken mess and he needs you. You could do a lot better than a prima donna yoga instructor with an anal fixation. Someone shut up! <laughs> I guess we can try. All I'm asking for is a shot. Neutral ground. Dr. Friedlander's office. It's perfect. All of us. I'll pick up Tracy and bring her there. He bust year one's laptop off the guy's noggin. Yeah, well, he deserved a slap Come just for having a man bun, a didn't idiot. he? Idiot! Uh, yoga? No! No yoga. Oh. All right, you know where your sister is, right? <laughs> yeah. Let's go. Wait, 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 but what about Fucking that sugar buns, caffeine? Jesus. I pick that flavored beverage I want. Another time. Um, Come on, I want one too. Later. Yeah, look, I, 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 look, I'm under no illusions. Like, I think Rashford's, at the moment, he's a bang average footballer. I mean, say bang average, he's better than the likes of you or me, obviously. But I mean. He's just gone off the boil. I've never seen it so much. It's like Sancho. Just goes. It's just gone off the boil altogether. It's, it's crazy. I think Rashford is a decent player, and there is a decent player in there, but it's just... I think he needs to leave United for his own career, because obviously him and Ten Hag ain't getting on, and maybe that's why he just doesn't give a fuck. It's a shame because, like, I think he is a decent player, and I think there is a decent player just waiting to sort of do the business. But I think at United, another thing is he hasn't really got the players around him either, has he? I mean, who's he got? Harry Maguire? No, not really. Wan Bissaka? There's not much in that squad, is there? And you compare it to years ago when they had the likes of Keane and all that lot. There's no one really there to. Committed in the PL, as there are many great players and teams. Yeah. That's half the problem, and I just think in another team he'd probably smash it. I just think in that team, they are a team of wingers, and they've got a winging manager as well. I mean, to keep sticking with players like Maguire. Bear in mind, they've gone out and bought Casemiro and all these other players, right? And he says a lot when Scott McTominay is he's actually getting more game time than. And he's, he's saying a lot when like McTominay and all that are getting in over Casemiro. But McTominay, uh, sorry, you Pogba, yeah. I mean, he could have been one of the world's greatest, and and he was for a little while. But he fucked himself up. Hipster. Ah. Oh. Oh. Just like. Ah. Ah. Ow. 
Oh, ho, ho, that looks pretty. Here, let's get rid of this. Oh, my God! Papa Bear! What's Daddy Number Two gonna think about this? Let's not get him involved. Ouch. Yeah, he's had, he's had it come in. <laughs> Not anymore, you haven't. Three little pubic hairs on here, too. There we go. Nice. You got like a camera phone or a mirror? For fuck's sake. Sniff, sniff. This is a real one stop shop. What are you doing? Rolling on the floor, laughing. No, what you gotta get is my daughter, whatever she wants. Yeah, without sucking on your piddle stick. Look, <laughs> that was a joke. I'm a clown. I'm a sad, lonely little clown. Hey, you're gonna put her on your show, and you're gonna make sure she looks good. Okay, I got a lot of juice in this town, but I mean, I'm not a... All his strength is gone. Yeah, oh yeah, totally. Totally fucked. Okay. Right, Tracy, like so Samson. <laughs> yeah. So, i like, call you or something, okay? Bye. <laughs> How do I look? It's not good, is it? Who knew you could use a tattoo gun? It's one of those skills you pick up in prison. You know, inking your name on your Sully's ass. Ew, are you serious? She can call me anytime. Not quite. Yeah, I mean, if you look up the cast of uh, GTA so I don't know why if you look up the cast to uh, GTA 5 hey, you'll um, see some of them actually look the same as uh, what they look like in the game obviously Steve Og Trevor looks exactly the same um, Michael Franklin uh, Michael's wife looks exactly the same. Um, Tracy kind of looks the same. And Jimmy looks exactly the same. So it's quite funny to see that the technology they must have used was out of this world to, to do all that. I'm just talking bollocks now, and I? Fuck yeah! Awesome! Let's rob somebody! <laughs> do it, Dad! Yeah! Do, do it! Do, do it. it! Enough! Okay? I love that we're getting along, but knock it off! Yeah, don't like actually rob a liquor store. That might like kill the mood. Fucking therapy. Let's do that shit. Hey, how about you just let your mom and me talk, okay? We got some issues we gotta iron out. And seeing as you two aren't in. You're right, though. The technology is high end. Yeah, yeah, totally. I mean, I I'll be impressed to see what the new one looks like, GTA 6. So, I mean, obviously, this was, what, 11 years ago they made this. So, obviously, technology's gone leaps and bounds since then, but... That is always my impression. Yeah. Um, it's like anything, even with like the new FIFA or FC24, as it's called now, and... I remember it, it was all like little pixelated things and now it's like it's state of the art technology they use and it's just like incredible how they do it. It's like a film, like with, with the GTAs especially. But like when you're playing FC24 as they call it now instead of FIFA, which is a stupid fucking name. Um, I get it because obviously FIFA doesn't have the uh, rights to the game anymore. Um, but... It's kind of like how they've done that. I mean, I remember it when it was like first started FIFA. And um, to see it just be as advanced as it is now, it's just insane. Um, but it does, it's just, it does look good. The players look exactly, the glitches, 
Yeah, the glitches don't really get on my nerves anymore. I just find them funny because some of the glitches you see on FIFA are just or FC24 is just like hilarious. Um, but yeah, the way they make these games now compared to when I was a lot younger is just mental. Oh, where's this? Oh, there, I see. Don't you crash into me. Yeah, therapy. Doctor Freeloader or Freelander, sorry. <laughs> Good to see you again, Michael. I'm so glad. Isn't this great? This park looks a bit like Venezuela. I am being nice. I've never been to Venezuela. I don't know if I'd want to with some of the stuff I've heard. One of the reasons I'm um it's beneath you. No, it's not. But yeah, well, I'm sure they're lovely parts of it. It's like Brazil, isn't it? Not, obviously, not like Brazil, like Brazil, but I mean, Brazil's got lovely parts. It's also got the no-go zones. I just want to go somewhere where I ain't got to worry about any of that shit. I want to go back to roads, actually. I'd love to, I'd love to live there. Michael, could you please stop murdering people? Not right now. Maybe when it calms down. Yeah, I remember when you were streaming out there. The red zones. You had like you fucking terrible internet. Like, no disrespect to you, but it was like. God, that feels like. Bank. Hang on, wait, let him finish this. I mean, let's face it, Amanda. <laughs> yeah, I think when. Um... I was in one for maybe 10 minutes at 8 a.m. Get a semi Michael. I was in my, oh, what a red zone. So I bet. You suck my cock. <laughs> <laughs> we'll both get a center before that ever happens. You are such a fucking animal, a deranged animal. You're fucking ain't right on deranged. How could I not be? I should have had you locked up years ago, you stupid Do shit. Do it. I'll put you in a fucking round with the rest of them. <laughs> <laughs> Just to see the famous old town. <laughs> wow. Well, um, I remember, and yeah, like I said, when you were streaming out there, you had like, if he went uh, internet, and um, you could hear, was it the kids downstairs or something, or the neighbours? Man, didn't that, God, that must have been a couple of years ago now. But where's the time gone, eh? Wasn't that during like whole COVID thing? There was a crash. Oh, I see. Jesus, 2021. Bloody hell. That was like lockdown time, wasn't it? Mental. Well, that was 2020 lockdown. So, I don't know. Yeah, well, I suppose it'd have to be. Did they have aircon? I guess not bad, all the I guess not a fair deal with windows and doors open. No, 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 not the man's. I, I, I'm saying you're right. Something was broke. We gotta work at fixing it. We do. All of us. Yes, Mom. No aircon. Fucking hell, really? No one else gets this. Must be like a fucking not sweat Dr. box. Or my yoga but we had fans. Or did you well, you'd need them, wouldn't you? You'd need them. Or Jimmy's third grade teacher. Or the trash guy. Or dad's proctologist. Or the guy that thinks he's Jesus on Vespucci Beach. Or the hippie bum who thinks the world is ending. We're stuck with each other. I mean, how do you explain faking our death? So it's basically his mum, their mum's the a bit of a bike by the sounds that of it. Monster, Trevor. There's no explaining Uncle T. Hey, is he coming to the next therapy session? Bastard. No, jeez. Just one thing, um, Don't get us killed. And don't get killed. Yeah, I'd like to go back to roads, man. I, used to, I actually loved it there. With every fiber of my being, I 
don't think we'll be having a holiday abroad anytime soon. I just ain't got the money. It's just, everything's so damn expensive. Yeah, Dad. Gross. You're better than that, Pop. Guys, I'm not really comfortable having this conversation. Oh, you twat. Okay. Yeah, it's so demeaning how you treat women. Oh, come on, move. Amigo. Yeah, I'm trying. It's just it's just annoying when bloody cars keep getting in the way. I'm trying really hard not to smash this car up. I know it's not even mine. It's not mine. It's just a game, but Here we are. I just don't want to break it. I spent a lot of money doing it up. I say a lot of money. Right, not my money, but... God, why? I can't stop yawning. Trevor Phillips, we're checking into the Rockford Hills Hotel. Okay, so what now? What are we doing now? Oh, it might be Trevor now. Watch this. This will make you laugh. <laughs> Last one standing. Again. Jesus Christ. So I'm guessing he's killed all these bikers. Fucking hell. Yeah. Fucking nutcase. I don't even know where the hell I'm supposed to go. Um, I guess back to Trevor's trailer. I don't know. I yeah, sometimes you, when you sort of go between different characters. No, you can't, because the thing you should do, it sort of just cuts out. Like, um, the boat will just sink. Head for another got... country. Oh, fucking yeah, if only I could. Um, oh, God. I don't even know where his digs are. Personal vehicle. I guess we'll go there. I think these boats are a little bit temperamental sometimes. It's like when you've got to fly the helicopters or something, it just handles like a pig. Yeah, I'm probably going to stream till one. I ain't going to stream till two. I think that's a little bit um, optimistic to think I was going to do that. Good air time, yeah. I don't think, yeah, I don't think like, I get anything for that. Um, also, I should imagine like, if you were doing that in a normal boat, it smashed the hole to bits, wouldn't it? But hey, who's to ruin this game? Not me. Fucking idiot. Um, well, I call myself an idiot, not anyone else. Um, so I'll just keep talking. There we go, that'll do. Let me nick one of them quad bikes, I guess. See if I can get out of here.
fuck. Yep. Thing is, I do it, but vehicle on me on isn't fast enough. So he's just going to basically do that the whole time. They've got like a car behind it, he's trying to stop and he's just put his brakes on. The police on here. They're either really stupid, or you just get that angry bald cop and he's just like, it doesn't matter what you do, you could literally sort of go past him, he'd just get so angry, chase after you, and he wouldn't stop until you were dead. It's quite funny, really. It's just like a nutcase. Ah, bikers. Yeah, so you put that helmet on with your no clothes. You've got a helmet on though, so he's safe. Yeah, boy. Bit of easy rider. All right, just go wait for the cops to piss off now. Like I said, the cops are either really clever or really stupid on this game. And if you've got angry bald cop, then you're screwed. God, they're so dumb. Look, I'm right up here and they've done nothing. Oh, here they come. Watch this. See ya. Oh, no, he's running up a hill. Yeah, come catch me, bitch. I think I've lost him. <laughs> Fuck, what was that? Oh, it might have been a little bunny rabbit or something, or a, a hare, a wild rabbit. You hit an animal. I did. Rolling on the floor, <laughs> laughing. <laughs> I think something actually mean to. Oh well, I something's kicking off. Let's go and have a look. Fucking hell, this cop is useless. Look how, look how far the guy is in front of him. What the hell is that bloody thing? Crazy gameplay. Top notch. It ain't bad, is it? Where's he gone? Where's he gone? Oh shoot! It's... I'm in the bikers' camp. I shouldn't be here. The bikers hate me. Blew their camp up before I went to uh, Los Santos. Is that a frigging deer? Jesus. Them little sods are fucking dangerous as well. I had to slam my brakes on once years ago. I was driving through like this. Um, we'd gone away uh, to, oh Christ, where was it? Dorset and we were staying at this resort and we were going out to go and get some food 
and uh, <laughs> we've got to do this drive. And luckily, like I had my lights on and everything, because if I hadn't, I wouldn't have seen this massive deer stand down the end. And I had to slam the brakes on. One of those huge Ford Jeeps. Yeah, I will do. And I would slam the brakes on and uh, wait for it to move. Sat there like five minutes waiting for him to to dis disappear. Crazy. They sort of look at you like you're an inconvenience as well. <laughs> it's quite funny. I'll get Trevor's 4x4 four four in a sec. Big old beast. There we go, big old Jeep. This fucking half wit. Run. Right, let's get Trevor dressed now, because this is this ain't a good look for him in his dirty old pants. Oh shit. Oh, hang on. The cops will come. That's fine. I'll be all right. Um, wet glasses. Oh, yeah. Oh shit, I'll go and insult him now. Oh, you sad, wretched fool. You're right, Trevor. I'm a sad, wretched fool. <laughs> <laughs> My God, I cannot believe we are friends. I'm sorry, Trevor. You're a creepy, paranoid wreck of a man. <laughs> You're pathetic. I know, Trevor. You really are a sad excuse for a man. The worst excuse, Trevor. <laughs> you need a lot of help. I know. From you. My God, you're pathetic, Ron. Pathetic. I know, Trevor. I know. Rolling on the floor laughing. <laughs> just standing there insulting him. <laughs> He's just taking it. <laughs> Oh what dear me. Oh, he got ruined, mate. Friends like that, who needs enemies? Right, where am I going with Trevor? Because I literally don't know. Has he got any any missions I can do or um doesn't look that way at the moment. Come on. The reference should have stepped in. The ref shouldn't stepped should have stepped in, yeah. Should I had someone stepping in for him? There literally isn't anywhere, is there? So I'm gonna see oh, okay, I've got to be Franklin. Right, okay, it makes sense. Fucking hell. My wife's got this air freshener thing, it's like um it goes off every so often and I'll tell you what, it's just stunk the room out, it's horrible. I can taste it before I can smell it. Hey, stupid! You can't be on here without a hat! Yeah, thanks a lot. Yeah, not that he looks out of place or anything. Gunasaurus just got back. Oh, yeah? Where's he been? Out partying with Aiden, or...? <laughs> Oh, 
Oh man. Oh, to be young again. God, I went out last weekend and nearly killed me for two days. It was horrible. Like, the hangovers just seem to take a lot longer now than they used to. I used to be immune, like, when I was in my late teens, early 20s, I could handle it. I'd be out on a Thursday night, a Friday night, and a Saturday night, and go for a couple of quiet pints on a Sunday. He always smells, but, well, means he's had a good night then. That's all I'll say on the matter. He's probably saying to the girls, like, you know, I know, I know uh, the YouTuber, I, was, I know, I know the YouTuber, you know, old school gunner. Oh, is he the one with the natural right hand? Yeah, that's the one. Oh, can you get me in there with him? Maybe, but you got to spend a bit of time with me first. <laughs> Right, if I remember rightly, I've got to knock this guy out and steal his plans. That's his game plan. Couple of wankers. Yeah, fucking wanker. Oh yeah, yeah. So yeah. <sighs> well, I've got to get the fuck out of Dodge. You must want a black eye. Yeah, I really want a black eye. That's exactly what I need right now. Muppet. No, you don't. Great, I suppose my car's like a million miles away. Bring on Bayern and Kane. Mate, I tell you what, that game is really fucking going to worry me. Because I just think of all the times in the past where they've absolutely hammered us. I just think to myself, mm, I don't know. It's a bit of a concern for me. I was hoping to get like Barcelona or Dortmund or someone like that. Yeah, it's a bit of a concern to me. <sighs> but then again, saying that, it ain't the Bayern Munich of old, is it? Nice it's like, deal. yeah, not bad. It's not the, uh, oh, excuse me, I can't sit here. I'm not even, I'm not even that tired. Um, it's not the Bayern Munich of old, is it? So, mind you, I still think they've got Thomas Muller. Which is crazy. He's got to be like a hundred now, surely. He was old when he was young. But um, yeah, it'd be interesting to see what we do. I, I'm, I'm hoping we can do something against them. Really, I am. I mean, to be fair to Porto, they're a decent squad. Uh, so, so, <laughs> I can't get my words out. They're a decent side, but I mean. You know, no, Bayern aren't Bayern. as good as before, but they can be difficult to beat at the Allianz Arena. Oh, 100 percent That's what I'm trying to say. But like, you know, Bayern and Porto are two two totally different teams. I've just smashed this really nice motor. Um, Porto are good. Yeah, Porto are good, but I'd say Bayern Munich are better. Um, yeah, you know, we only just got through, really, because it went to penalties. So I don't know. I don't know. I don't want it to get to penalties with Bayern Munich because they got that lump Neuer in goal. <laughs> Excuse me. Bayern a dogged. I have no idea what that means. Here's what I think. We have two options. The new security software. What are you drinking? I am drinking Disrono and Coke. Earthquakes, mudslides. That was my fourth. <laughs> oh dear, I'm gonna have another one in a minute, I think. 
ball goes out, we hijack it, show up as firemen, and then we grab the containment drive. Or they never give up. Hack the system on site. Oh right, yeah, no, they don't. Oh. Hope we don't run into too much physical resistance. Sounds relaxed. They're a threat. Only because they got kind. In my opinion. That's what worries me. Because that little fucker will score against us and he'll take pride in it. If you favor the firebomb containment drive option, you'll go in with that janitor's ID you picked up. It'll be at night when most of the workers are up. You mop the place and plant the bombs where we need them. Seriously? I got a mop? Yeah, yeah, you really do. They'll clock you on the camera. Dogged means they stick to the task. No, no, I, I get it now. It's just I wasn't... It said dogged. So I was like, what does that even mean? But no, I get you now. Oh, I know. There's a team to be worried about. Even though... God, even though they're not as good as they used to be, they're still a good team. And I know... I know what we can be like, so... You fly way up above the building, parachute in, just and don't fuck it up. Now you'll need to be armed to the teeth, mind you, just in case the uh, shit goes down. Mopping or parachuting? Wow, you're making this choice really difficult. Now Haynes has given us the leftover money from the Polito job to pull this mission, and the crew will be paid out of that. We keep the change. So, what's it gonna be? Hmm. I'm going to fire crew. So you do want them up, okay? Well, you'll need a couple of gunmen. They'll go in with you as fire. Gus Moda, he's a pro. Not much else to say. Daryl, uh, I'm not hearing great things, to be honest, but you just might be able to do this with him. This is a protected federal building. Are you absolutely sure this is how you want to take it? Yeah. And we have a winner. I'll make the arrangements and call you when we're ready. All right, shit, hit. You know, um, I'm still looking into that Union Depository gig. It's real interesting. But I don't know if we can do it without you know who. Uh, Trevor. Well, as long as he can't do it without us. Right, what are we doing now? Getaway vehicle, I've got to find a getaway vehicle now. Nice. Great game. Yeah, it's all right, isn't it? It's all right. Um, yeah, it's definitely one of my favourites, that's for sure. So we'll find a getaway vehicle. Okay, well, let's leave this here. Yeah, I'm not, I know I can't use Michaels, I'm well aware of that. So now I've got to find somewhere to hide this in a discreet location. Hey, Sugar Plum. Daddy, I'm in trouble. What is it? Money? <sighs> Drugs? Your mother. There's now it's getting dark. You can go around punching the head off people. Well, I'm going to get to do that in a minute. I've got to go back to my car though, because now my car's gone. Where's my car gone? <laughs> Super plum. He's been following me in my car, so let's just drive around and you can talk to him when he shows. Oh, yeah. So, some we'll creepy talk. guy is stalking his daughter, so now he's got Michael's gonna go and sort him out. Like any respectable dad would do. Thank God I ain't got a daughter.
Nothing, my dude. Fuck off. Sorry, excuse my language where they come from. <laughs> right, where is she? Amazing, you've turned out this good. Ah, purple car, that's him. Fuck, he's on you. Let's go. Get him, Daddy. How you like that? Jesus Christ, what a king. Am I right? <laughs> hey, what are you running for, pal? Let's talk. Seriously, I didn't know she already had a sugar daddy. <laughs> <laughs> creepy old bastard. Not so creepy when there's a grown man in the car. I swear he was gonna do something, Dad. Yeah, well now we're the ones who are gonna do something. All kinds of things. Hey, creepo! I'm her father, not a sugar daddy. You've raised they a shouldn't great let old people Mr. drive cars. He is going to get messed up. Yeah, Michael takes no prisoners. Oh, I'm shut sorry up. this happened to you, baby. There's some real creeps out there. Yeah. She's a proper little princess, up. this one. Hey, 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 that ain't me. Anymore. He's out of the car. I get it. I'm going. I'll never come back. I'm an addict. I need help. I'm the victim. You're the victim. Good one. Precious cargo face with tears of joy. Uh, she's certainly something. You're a cyber creep. You're right. You're right. I'm getting help. Don't kill me. Run, you little bastard. All the way out of town. <laughs> Kicked him up the house. <laughs> Ah, oh dear. It's the little things. The dialogue is funny. The dialogue's brilliant. I mean, the NPC characters as well, like the stuff they come out with, it's just Eat hilarious. Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, one of them was like, she was turning around saying, oh, I really need anal earlier. And I was like, what the fuck? What happened, Daddy? Guy had an accident. I'm sorry. Yeah, some of the dialogue is brilliant. I can't believe you did that. They must have a laugh when they make these games. Sure. I just wanted you to speak to him. This was infinitely more persuasive. I never should have called you. Look, there's a lot of I never should have called there. you. I couldn't take the chance. Your dad stops your stalker and there. you're complaining. My dad is one of them. I'm grown oh my god. Up, baby. It's time you got serious with your life. Yeah, I ain't perfect, but I love you. I guess 
he really scared me, but I, I didn't know what. Well, then pretend it never happened. Like I try not to think about exactly what aspect of your creative expression enamored him so much. Okay, that's right. Denial kind of works for me. Good. That's my girl. Oh, you motherfucker. Now, please. There was something I wanted to tell you actually, Dave, but I'll, I'll text it over to you in a sec. I don't really want to I need to wind down. Maybe put it on the chat. Just no, the put it in, put it on here because it's a bit. Just saying, hashtag. Maybe it's the quickest way to get somewhere where I can relax. Something someone said. So I'll tell you in a sec. I know. Because I sort of brushed it off to begin baby. with. But um, I'll tell you in a sec. You're the one who needs to calm down, you maniac. No wonder I need medicating. No creepy stalkers in this joint, honey. Just creepy brothers, killers, drug dealers. Thanks, Daddy. Bye. I'm glad I could use my paternal rage productively for once. No problem, bro. All right, just gives a few seconds, people. I'm just going to get myself another drink and I'll be right back.
am I'm back. Did you miss me? Um, right, so I have no idea. I've got to find a car. I've got to find this fire truck. Let me find the car first. This is a fucking piece of shit. She can have this back. This is a real heap of junk. It's like, I suppose it's like a mini convertible. Yeah, keep that. Right, so I need to find a four door car. I need to find a. I'll give you a pain in the ass. I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. Right, that's a four door, isn't it? Yeah, that'll do. I need to find somewhere to park it. Oh, it can be used as a getaway. Where can I park it though? In a secure location. Hmm. Ooh, watch out. Not paying attention. Right, where can I park this piece of crap? Hmm. Maybe in here? Can I park it here? No, yes. Obviously not. Easy tiger. Oh, what about here? Can I leave it here? Is this a secure location? I'm gonna be fucking all pushed to find where I can park this. Mm -hmm. No, it's not. It's a bag of nails. Okay, so I'll, f I'll call the fire truck first because obviously I'm getting nowhere with this. Vehicle, I'm going to place the location. This location is on a road. Fucking hell. God, this is so bloody picky. I put it in a car park. You wouldn't let me leave it there. What about here? Can I leave it here? You tell me I can't leave it here, I suppose, and all. Can be used. Fantastic. Rockford Hills. Good work. Call me when the rest of the prep's taken care of, okay?
Hello.
sorry guys i'm back now sorry uh just had to do something quickly what am i doing i don't want to get back in the car i fuck this up um yeah just had to do something quickly um so i'm back now sorry it was, i've been gone a little while um hello dave yes sorry mate um i sent you a message so hopefully you got it um so right now I've got to find a, well I've got to get a fire truck to come along so I can steal it for this job. So this should be fun. Hello, this is 911. What emergency service do you require? Thank you. The fire department are en route to your location. So which way they're coming from? So where are they? Here we go. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Damn, that car is fine. Where are you? I can hear it, but I can't see it. Here we go. See ya. So now I've got to try and get rid of the cops. Guarantee you I end up an angry bald cop. You moron. You moron. Get out the fucking way. Right, I've got to find a way of losing these coppers. Really good at this, can you tell? Definitely haven't had a drink Fuck. much. You're in the wrong lane. I know, I know. Well, I've never driven a fire truck before Face until tonight. Enjoy. Um, yeah, I know I'm in the wrong lane, but um, just trying to lose these police. Oh, which I've done, thank God, Jesus. Right, where can I get rid of this? Well, I say get rid of it, I've got to store it somewhere. I guess I'll follow the yellow line. Yeah, so... Um, what was I going to say? I was going to say something. So you're just going to stay at home tomorrow and have a few drinks then? For some paddies, though. You should definitely do a live stream. OSG drunk live stream. Just you basically <laughs> getting absolutely fucking hammered and just saying, ah, there, fucking, where's all my fucking subscribers? You bunch of cunts. Oh, excuse my language. Um, you bunch of fuckers and moaning about them all. <laughs> that thing's fucking hilarious. Dave loses it on live stream, drunk live stream. That'd be brilliant. Obviously, when I'm joking, I wouldn't want that to happen. But um, you should definitely do a live stream. Have a couple of drinks by by all means, and just I don't know who's playing tomorrow. Liverpool, Man City. I'm guessing you're doing a a stream for that. So that should be interesting. I'll have to read your messages in a second, mate.
Ay, ay, ay. Oh, see if I can squirt the cat. <laughs> oh, it's fucking brilliant. Shit the fucking cat up. Excellent. Nice engine. I know, right? Right, so I have to go and do the job now. It should be fun. I have to make this drink my last one, I think. Jesus. I end up with a fucking headache tomorrow. Hey, how you doing? Well, I suppose tonight's mice and paddies night because obviously I can't celebrate it tomorrow because I've got to be up early in the morning Monday. So. Meanwhile, my. Fucking ain't it when they do that. Let's try to figure out a way to kill me. But hey, the Mets are kicking in. Sunday. Life's good. Poxy Sunday. Franklin got us what we need. What can it have been a Friday night or a Saturday then, night? Then head in there and uh, rig up a slightly more sophisticated fire trap than we've got here. Oh, I'm guessing drapes and send a candle aren't gonna do the trick, huh? No, 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 no. You'll have incendiaries and a remote device. Now they need to be strategically placed so we can ensure that we still have access to Happy St. Patrick's Day. Well, it is St. Paddy's Day now, isn't it? So happy St. Patrick's Day, know. mate. Trigger the bombs, meet up with Franklin and the crew, and then we'll intercept You're more padded than I am, obviously. You know. Yeah. Yeah, it's good, mate. It's good. I hope you have a, uh, a good time, whatever it is you're doing. I still think you should do a stream, even if you are just having a few drinks. Um. Trevor has a point about you. Yeah, it's a shame it's um, yeah, on a Sunday because I'd be having a few drinks and all. We could have done a drinking stream together. That would have been brilliant. I've got a ton of beer in the fridge. This will run I won't go. Right, where am I going? Where am I going? Where am I going? Get in the car. Yeah, it would have been a right old laugh. Did they? Wow. Yeah, I've got a lot of Irish. Next what, next... What day next week? Right, would you like to do it? I can't do Friday, unfortunately, because my parents are coming over Saturday. I'll do it Saturday night, maybe. I got it, dog. At least we can count on these guys in a pinch. What the hell happened there? Did you see that? That car just sort of, sort of, like it was stuttering. The freaking hell is that all about? Oh God! I can't stop yawning. What's wrong with me? 
I might stay on a bit later, I don't know. I might stay until about half one or something. I'm not feeling too tired just yet. Is it your first day? Go through the turnstile and head up. Is it your first day? Yeah, they keep changing the contractors. Yeah, because guys like me keep losing their jobs and agreeing to do this for less. All right, head up. <laughs> So I'm in the FIB building. God bless Ooh. America. America! Fuck uh -huh. yeah! <laughs> I see Trump is in the shit. Oh god, I love Trump. I think he's brilliant. All the Americans are like, oh, like, yeah, but he's misogynistic, he's this, he's that. And then when you ask them what misogynistic means, they haven't got a clue. It's just easy to throw it around. Oh, he likes to grab people by the P-U-S-S-Y. And it's just like, he did more for America in the time he was in power than Joe Biden and Obama did in the time they were in power. Sleepy Joe Biden keeps, like, falling asleep. And, and just talking incoherently and not making any fucking sense. Guys lost it. Done. You can't please everyone. Well, this is it, mate. I think he's great. And the fact that people just go mad, like, because they hate him so much. It's like, get a fucking grip, people. Ah, dirty. Ah, dirty. So the thing is, people are too scared to actually say what they really think because they either don't want to get cancelled or, um, you know, worried about upsetting people. I wouldn't have had this 20 years ago. Everyone's so woke and upset by everything. I don't know how these people get out of bed in the morning. Really, I don't. It's like... Such delicate little flowers. There you go. <laughs> Wouldn't have had this back in the day when we were younger. Jesus. You'd be told man to fuck up. Fairies. Yeah, exactly. What happened to people? Even the men are now all poncy and feminine. What's wrong with them? They're more feminine than they're more feminine than some of the women. It is it's mental to me. Come, when did we become, like, when did men become sort of weak, namby pamby fairies? Bunch of softies. Oh, mate. It's a joke. Absolute fucking joke. People are just uh, going to meltdown because it's like, oh, but I can't have a job because if I have a job, then I won't be able to be a little wokey bitch. You know, they're all happy to let everyone pay for them. It just, if you don't, then you're, you know, got to be misogynistic or sexist or you're committing a rape on me. Stop talking shit. Real men are almost frowned upon. Oh, mate. Oh, we're seen as, like, insecure. We're seen as, like, all these horrible fucking buzzwords they like to throw around. It's embarrassing, mate. Hang on, I need that bucket. Why did I just walk off and leave it? Cavemen. I'd rather be a caveman and be some of like what these little namby pamby fuckers are. Face with tears of joy. They won't let me pick the bucket up, so I guess I've got to just leave it behind. <laughs> Looks like Aiden's having a good night. Anyway, I watched the uh, the video he sent. But it looks like he's having a good night. Good for him. Crap. Ah, f That's it. Make the rest of the floor nice and dirty. No.
He needs to bury the bishop. Well, you never know, he might. The thing is, like, going out now isn't like what it was like when we were younger, when we were his age. You've got to be so careful, like, because girls are just fucking poisonous now. You've got to be so bloody careful. Shower of C asterisk 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 asterisk. They really are, mate. That ain't a lie. They really are. Well, some guys got and six figure salaries a year. They're still young, but can still, you know, he's got to be a powerful man. He's got to have a chiselled physique, and he's got to have time for his missus though but like, it's just like nonsense the expectations are ridiculous but they're, they're they're quite happy just to be skanks and let everyone pay for them when did women turn into such nasty bits of work not all women don't get me wrong but like at least young girls now you see them like it's like i remember was it we were walking home it's been a couple of weeks ago and it's like some girl walking along and she's got a coat on, but it's round her shoulders and she hasn't got it all the way up. And then it's like, she's got a little crop top thing on, tracksuit bottoms with this big fat arse and the Air Force Ones. And I just thought to myself, what the fuck are you? <laughs> like, look at you, you can't even put your coat on properly. But they're all skanks and they're all hanging around like a, a group of blokes. And it's just like, well, that speaks volumes, doesn't it? Anyway, I've ran it on a bit too long about that subject. Let's talk about something else. What do you think we'll do against Bayern, Dave? Do you think we'll get anything against them, mate? Brainless. Million percent, absolutely. Um, yeah, so do you think we'll get anything against them at all? I think it's going to be a very tough game. Charge is set. I'm out of the building. Hey, dog, we're right around the corner. We got your gear in here with us. Hey, look, everybody cool, right? I think the fact the second leg is away makes it even harder. Yeah, me too. I'd rather play them away first. If I'm totally honest, yeah, I think I would have rather played them away first. And then um, played the second leg at home. I'll get this turn out here. Where's the C4? What use the phone? C4. Yeah, yeah, detonate. There we go. Face with tears of joy, 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 face with tears of joy. It's because I ain't got my glasses on. That's my excuse and I'm sticking to it. It's definitely not the booze. So Lester hijacked the emergency signal, right? Yep. We'll be the only idiot. C4 to your door. No beef, no more. That's so true. That'll be their slogan. C4 to your door. No beef, no more. Out of there. Oh no, I've got to run straight in there, mate. 
We've got to retrieve, I think it's a hard drive. Okay. It's quite a good mission this way. Uh, from what I remember. Sense. I'm glad it makes sense. <laughs> Oh, you twat. Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? Because I've run, run into the other half where I suppose. It really is, mate. Oh, shit. It really is. Um, it's just too many games to be playing at the moment, and it's a good thing in a way. Oh, right. I thought you meant, like, as in gamers. Um, how do they actually create it? A lot of CGI stuff, a lot of... Um, I suppose months and, and years of development and having the actors to do the voices and putting them in them sort of spandex suits with like the little tennis ball things all over them so they can catch every single movement um, it's quite impressive how they do things it really is He did. It's advanced. It really is, mate. It's just and so clever. Yeah, exactly. Hey, Come on. I mean, look at it even now. I mean. It's come a long way from when we were playing games when we were kids, mate, I tell you. Saying how good it is. Shit, where the fuck did they go? Where the fuck did they go? I've lost them. Oh, no. Jesus. Obviously, I knew that was going to come at some stage. Good. I'd actually rather stay there and kill me than fucking try and get out for their own lives. What's this me for? You fools should be 
They call me shit stick. The roof, the roof is on fire. <laughs> if you want to party, then raise your voice higher. Where are they? Serrano for you, sir. What are you talking about? This is my bloody St. Paddy's Day now. You can enjoy it later, I can't. Close, man, fucking close. Yeah, do you know what I mean? Crazy. Hey, this fire truck as soon as possible i'm working on it. yeah because if they connect the dots man i don't know man i'm working on it. any minute they'll be looking for us i mean those guys in the building you took down if they knew who else is gonna know it ain't worth thinking about dog trust me i'm gonna get us there as fast as i can all right shit shit i just don't want to run into something man y'all don't want to run into trevor bro that's who you don't want to run into <laughs> <You> <laughs> so, uh, trevor's fucking nuts avoiding the cops the feds and my dear friend Trevor Phillips. All right, man, I'll try. Try real hard. Talk about pressure. 
Yeah, no pressure or nothing, Michael. Jesus. Oh, fucking move. Jesus Christ. Oh, my God. How the fuck? Why did it send me round this way? I could have come that way. Right, destroy the fire truck. Right, okay. Sticky bomb time. What the fuck? Get in the car, you dickhead. So you take your time walking around with your gun. tell you people i didn't think we were gonna make it out of there uh one of us didn't <laughs> we lost a dude man oh yeah shit i don't like speaking ill of the department know what i'm saying but that dude was in over his head yeah he wasn't top draw but i thought we could carry him through it i guess i thought wrong well anyway we made it out so we got that to be thankful for strolling Th over to the car yeah, I know, right? Get your fucking ass in the car, taking your time. We've got coppers after us. Dope. It must have been us, right? Uh, <laughs> I'll put it down to bad leadership then. I can tell you that because the leader was dumb enough to take you in there. True that. Yeah, hit the open road. Nothing like it, mate. Nothing like it. <laughs> yeah, one day I'll be back on the open road again, hopefully. Just need a lottery win and I'll be fine. <laughs> I don't think that's too much to ask for. Oh dear, that'd be nice. Suicidally dangerous mission impersonating emergency services while working a high security government facility. It was surprisingly uplifting. <laughs> Come here. Give me some of that. Ow, ow, ow. Oh. Sorry, I forgot. You forgot my very, very obvious illness? It happens. Uh, whatever. Hey, let's get drunk. Franklin, fill up the glasses. We've got some real vintage moonshine, hillbilly type shit. We're gonna be. Seeing triple and committing incest in minutes. <laughs> just the what? Shit to make a man forget his trouble. Committing incest in minutes, he just said. <laughs> what a fucking weirdo. As a skunk, and then I'm going to reverse engineer a webcam and spy on those sorority girls again. <laughs> oh my god. Ideal, okay, give me a break. Cheers! Man, that's some wild ass shit. <laughs> All right, boys, I hate to break up the ritual, but I got to go square things up with Davy and Dick uh, For serious? Hey, I just want them to know that now committing incest. Yeah, I know, right? What the fuck? <laughs> what the hell's that all about? 
<laughs> Some creepy ass shit. One way to look at it, eh? Right. Besides, I want to put this shit to bed. Then I can figure out Trevor, you know? Get my life back. Go back to being bored and miserable and loving every motherfucking minute of it. Here, enjoy the incest juice. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. He doesn't get out much. Yeah, I don't get out much. Don't mean I want to do that. Fuck <laughs> you. Uh, guys, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the Old School Gunner. Uh, he does a lot of very good content. Hang on a sec. We hit the bureau for you, Try to plug someone. I've got to do this. Yes, I saw that. Meet me at the court center, and I'll debrief you. I'm out, Davy. From now on, done. I appreciate that. I'm trying my best for you, but but you and Trevor attacking Merriweather? Repeatedly? It doesn't help. That's Trevor's thing. Whoever's thing it is, it's unauthorized and it's dumb. They've been sniffing around my office. We really need to talk. Really? <sighs> all right, all right. I'll come to the court center. Fuck. Right. Before I was so rudely interrupted. Guys, if you haven't already... Can you please subscribe to the old school gunner? Uh, he's recently hit 2.1k. Uh, he does a lot of good football content. He doesn't just do Arsenal, he does other teams as well. He does a lot of good watch alongs as well. Uh, every now and then, I go, start getting every now and then, I go on his channel and we have a chat about football. He talks to anyone about football. Um, and yeah, he just knocks out some really good content. Um, so yeah, if you could go and subscribe to his channel. I'd appreciate it, and I'm sure he would too. And if you could show my channel a little bit of love, if you haven't already, number one YouTuber on the planet. If you haven't already, if you haven't already, if you could subscribe to my channel, I'd certainly appreciate it. And uh, stick a thumbs up on the video, and also go back and check my uh, my previous videos. I've done quite a few, um, and they need a little bit of love. So. That's enough plugging now. But Dave, yes, you are the best YouTuber. Hmm. Do you have a channel? Do I have a channel? Well, yeah, you're talking to me on it. Crazy fool. Michael's just punching air now, look. Awesome. Right, where am I going? FIB. Right, where have I got to go? Face with tears of joy. Do I have a channel? Do you have a channel? Okay, I'm gonna have to reverse down this little bit of road. Go and see Solomon, see what he wants. Is that a prosy? What's this? Hey, gorgeous, jump in. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, fuck off. <laughs> Sorry, I'm back with my wife. I'm trying to go. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, too easy. Ah, uh, stupid things like that make me laugh. Hey, you fucker. Piss off. Oh! I made tinkles again. Oh, 
Oh fuck, that was close, Jesus. Fuck. <laughs> yep, I've been drinking again. You bastard! You bloody bastard! <laughs> nice driving. Yeah, I don't know if I call it driving. <laughs> Pretty fucking poor. Dodged them two cars and then went straight into the bloody wall. <laughs> oh dear. Right, what have I got? Oh, I know what this mission is now. That's it, parking a disabled spot. Well, thanks for sticking around for the stream, Good Dave. I appreciate that, mate. It's uh, always have, nice to have someone chatting in the chat. I think it's only you here, mate, if I'm honest. Says there's two, I don't think there is. I love you. You're, you're like my spirit brother now. Where's Solomon? He's out getting the negatives of film, whatever the fuck it is. The last dinosaur in town is about to get fossilized. What are you talking about? Look, the movie's nearly done, so if the plug's pulled now, the investors, meaning us, get a massive insurance payout. Meanwhile, I can use that to get the other major shareholder, the old bastard's idiot son, to agree this to guy's a piece of shit, honestly. and let me redevelop the area for condos. <laughs> and in this economy, the city's going to let me build tax-free. I might even get some rebates. It is a brilliant thing, and it is all thanks to you and Molly's eye for the details of the insurance policy. You're welcome. Michael, they're fucking us! The suits! And they don't even wear suits! Wolves in turds clothing! Try not to take it too badly, Mr. Richards. Were you ever a human being? Look, people used to like films, now they like what? Videoing themselves, beating off on their iFruit phones. Don't blame me. <laughs> I'm a very spiritual person. I feel badly about this. But evolution is evolution. Gentlemen, Molly. Namaste. Hello, baby. Yeah, not too shabby, is she? Can't we do something? At least let me finish the picture. Not for much longer, though. I'm afraid our timetable. You'll see why in a minute. Goodbye, Mr. Richards. Where the hell is she going with that movie? She is taking the only copy offshore, somewhere nice and discreet. Analog. God, it's certainly got its complications. Michael, can you do something? No, he can't do anything, pal. It's an inevitability. <sighs> My wife got screwed by a yogi. And now I'm getting screwed by a yogi? Fuck that! I'm a producer! Nobody fucks with my film! Ugh. Get to the airport, talk to her. That's it. You're not thinking. Hey, I'm a producer. I'm producing the goods. Don't do this, Slick. Think. She's got a police escort. Nice car. Let's go. What the hell is this? Nice. I don't know what it's supposed to be. Ferrari or something, I, I suppose. I film back before she does anything rash with it. Molly's highly strung. She's not going to stop and talk it out with a deranged killer chasing after her. That ain't who I am. Today... Look, I don't want to hurt anyone. I just want to get my move. <laughs> That's not who I am today. Your brain. Fun time is over. <sighs> Fuck you. Oof, nearly. My God. 
Nice car. Shit colour though. Oh fuck me. No. Every fucker in the way. And the rage begins. <laughs> oh come on, where the She's got a police escort, so this mission, this mission just become harder. Did she have a police escort before? When I played this before, can't remember. What's she? I guess she, I guess she must have done. Motherfucker, who hit me? Police, I suppose. Yeah, pretty intense right now, yeah? Is that the fucking coppers that keep hitting me? Bitch, watch, watch this. Oh. Excellent driving. Where's the film? Where's the film? Where's the film? I don't know about excellent. Of fucking luck, I think. Oh shit, shit, shit. Where's the film? Where's the film? I need to get the fuck out of dodge. I'm gonna steal a plane. Alright, move, move! Before I get shot to bits. Where am I? Where am I? Where? Oh god. Flying these things is such a ball ache. Wow. Yeah, man. So cool. Pick the only fucking plane that's got a busted engine. Oh, this is going to be fun. So I need to try and get away from the cop shop. Cop shop? From the coppers, because they've got helicopters up in the air. Oh, I need to get in there, or chew. I keep. Oh my god. Oh my god. Only I could be fucking this up. White Hart Lane, then crash into it. Oh, gladly. Gladly. Oh. 
just need to lose. Oh, there we go. Okay, I don't think this plane's going to make it. I've passed the mission, so that's alright. I need to dump it somewhere. Well, get out of it somewhere. I loved you once, Tony, but there's nothing between us. This now scene, I'll I go. Really? We're doing this now? I just watched Devin Weston's legal counsel get juiced in a jet engine. Oh, that Molly woman? Oh, Lord, that's horrible. You have no idea. She panicked, went crazy, and ran into it. But I saved the print, so we still got our movie. You believe that analog thing? It's all digital. We have backups everywhere. I mean, we're shooting on green screen. Well, you could have told me. I'm sorry. <laughs> Look, I thought you knew. <laughs> what waste of time that was. Done, and we've got to get it out before they can screw us again. I've greenlit a premiere. That will stop them from burying us. A premiere? For Meltdown? Okay. Can you invite my family? They can finally have something to be proud of me for. Of course. It's already on its way by courier. All right. Shit. I'll get ready. It was an American divorce, by the way. The movie quote. Obviously. And now the plane is fucked. Let's see if I can get anywhere with this plane while it's like this. Because the engine will cave in at some stage, but... Ricky from Life Invader. Bro, I know you'll find this hard to believe. Oh, but it's kind dickhead. of difficult for someone with a middling GPA and bad references to get a job in this climate. You gotta help me. Hey, if there's something, I'll call you. That's all I can say. Good luck out there. I'm trying to fly this in one engine. Oh, screw this. He's got to have a parachute, surely. That'll do. Where's that gone? Crazy. Yep, it really is. It's going to take me about five or so minutes to get down, so I'm going to enjoy my drink. <laughs> of course, it's raining. It's like when I put the washing out earlier on and it started raining. It's like, great. I never knew the gameplay was so good. Mate, it's definitely worth getting. Um, if you do get your PlayStation sooner rather than later, definitely get this first. This game is insanely good. Um... Yeah, I, I love this game. I, I, even when a new one comes out, I'll still keep hold of this. I mean, the amount of time they must have spent making this game. And this was back in 2013. So you can imagine what the new one's going to be like. It's going to be crazy shit, I tell you. Can't wait to get a new one, but this one will always have a place in my heart. This one, it's the first time you got a GTA where when you fall in the water, you don't die because <laughs> that was the thing with most of them you'd fall in the water and you'd die, or well, you'd die quite easily. Not so much in these ones. You get people mod these games as well, so they, they um, code them so the gameplay is a lot smoother and the, it's more realistic looking. I mean, if you search online, um, GTA modded, it should come up with like a load of videos where fans of the game have actually done their own thing with it and just made it even better than what it is. Um, it's, I mean... 
I don't even know how they do it, but they just do it, and it's, it's just incredible what they can do. And I'm surprised that Rockstar never employed him to um, to actually help with the new game because they've it's just it's just unbelievable what these guys can do. Like, and they're not even paid by Rockstar; they're not professional at it either. But what they what they do is just insane. But like they've modded it, some of it, so it's like looks like parts of London, and they've got London like the UK police cars and stuff like that, and it just blows me away with some of the stuff they've done. It's it's a shame they can't release that because I'd love to play it honestly. Fuck me, he's gone one already. I'll stay around a bit longer, fuck it. I'm not going to be up too early in the morning. It earned $1 billion in its first three days. That's because people are hardcore. Um, I bought it when it came out straight away, and I had an Xbox 360 at the time. Um, it's just one of them games. It's like... We had GTA 4, and that was... At the time, that was the Rolls Royce of entertainment product in history. Yeah, because they they sold the game so well on the adverts they put out at the time. Like Rockstar do this whole thing where like they promote it so well. They did it with Vice City and, and other games, and they have celebrities like in Vice City, um, especially that Burt Reynolds uh, doing one of the voiceovers. Danny Dyer was actually doing a voiceover in it as well. Um, Ray Liotta, who was Tommy Vassetti. Um, Philip Michael Thomas, who was Tubbs in um, the original series of Miami Vice. He was Lance, Lance Vance. Um, they did that with San Andreas as well. You had uh, Samuel L. Jackson, who was the copper. And there was a few other, I can't remember off the top of my head who was who. The Ice Cube was in it as well. Um, but they market the games so well. Um, but with this, like, they just it was just like regular actors. Um, but it worked. And, and it's just, yeah, the way they market the games, it's just amazing. So I do have some of the old retro GTA games like Vice City, uh, San Andreas. And I might do a few streams of them every now and then as well. But, um, yeah, I love the way they market the games. It's brilliant. Like they, the only thing I will say to let Rockstar down, though, is when they did the remastered versions of Grand Theft Auto 3, Grand Theft Auto Vice City, um, San Andreas. Um, they sold, sold it for a lot of money. Um, and they didn't really do an awful lot with it. Um, they said it was remastered. All they did was put it in one of these machines, which clears it up a little bit. And it actually made some of the gameplay a lot worse. Um, it was like just another way of plugging GTA, but not plugging it in a good way. Which is a shame. I'm boring myself now. <laughs> Fucking hell. Talk for England. I haven't even hit the ground yet. I'm still going. Yeah, it really is, man. It really is. Um, can't fault it, really. I think if you look at the comparison, sorry, gone. Where will he land? I have no idea. I'm just wherever, wherever um, 
see how far I can go. <laughs> yeah, or the airport because then you get like all the force, all the stars come up and you get everyone after you, which is mad. I've done that before and it's just like, oh god, this is insane. Um, I was going to say something. I can't. I can't remember what it was. Yeah, he's a great game. Probably one of my favourites at the moment. Well, all the years I've, I've played games, it's definitely up there. It's one of my favourite games. Oh, I'm getting close now. Oh, it's a police car. Let's see if I can land on it. No. Not far, though. Not far away from it. Oh, fuck. Oh, man. Ow. Right, so now. Mm, okay, what have I got to do now? Ouch. Yeah, that's going to leave a mark. Oh, I've got to go and see the FIB. Ouch. I've got to go and see Dave Norton. And uh, the other fucking idiot, what's his name? Um... Steve Haynes. All the decent cars. Not here, clearly. I'll oh, screw it out, do. So yeah, it's a, it's a decent game, man. I do really enjoy playing this one. Um, you know, it's got everything in it. Do you know what I mean? It's got the whole shooting. It's got the driving, stealing cars, and doing like jobs that you shouldn't be doing, like and having the police chase after you. It's kind of got the whole lot, you know, enrolled into one game. bike because I'm not getting involved. It needs to be Trevor to be doing that. Gotta stop that guy. He jacked all my money. Sucks to be you. Post there, you dope. <laughs> so, yeah, I highly recommend getting this when you get your PlayStation. Um, you can pick this up really cheap now. You can pick it up for like less, less than fifteen quid. Go uh, go to somewhere like a CEX or something, or a pre-owned games uh, games shop. You know where you can buy. You know what's the word I'm looking for? Fucking hell! Get with it. What's up with you? Um, 
you know, it, it's like, f- fucking hell, can't get me words out from me tonight, Jesus. Somewhere you can get, like, pre-owned games is what I'm trying to fucking say, Jesus. It is indeed. Would be even cooler if, if I could get my fucking words out properly. Yeah. Sort of, you can get them like, usually get them quite cheap enough. Like, I mean, I downloaded this on, off of the PlayStation Store, but I mean, you can pick it up for less than 15 quid. So, well worth getting. Where the fuck are we? I could go through the doors in here. What are you, cheeky bastard? Hit my car. My pride to enjoy. Your dream machine. Yeah, my dream machine, yeah, my passion wagon. Watch all fucking hell break loose now, Dave. Ah, see? Maybe that's why we're such great friends, huh? We're old school, like old fashioned things. Newspaper, celluloid. Right, before I do that, I've really got to pee. So I'll be back shortly. Give us two seconds, mate. Well, I'll say two seconds, a bit longer.
Okay, let's get into this. Good guys, bad guys. We're friends? Well, I don't know. You tell me. We did what you said, right? Got those people off your back? Now you're gonna do like you said and cut me loose, right? Things are not gonna work out quite that way. There's a bit of a problem. That's right, Davy boy, you could say that. Steve, I told you I would handle oh, this. Oh, because you've handled everything so fucking well so far, haven't you? All right, I admit things have been a little unorthodox, I'm but- I'm fucking orthodox! You ruined my career! Agent Sanchez, arrest these men, both oh, of them. Steve, oh, whoa! On, please. You fucking kidding me? Arrest me for what? For multiple counts of every fucking crime under the fucking sun. Oh, well then let me rephrase. Why? Why? Because. Because you don't want me to testify in court about our various business dealings, right? Agent Sanchez, apprehend the suspect! Agent Sanchez, you'll do no such thing. Now, Steve, we agreed to speak to Michael, to try and explain things to him, not this. This causes problems for us all. Okay, okay. Then put your gun down and we'll talk. After you, buddy. Come on, where's the trust? You can do better than that. They know or think they know that I'm the one that was behind the incident. Uh-huh. And now you want me to clean up your mess again, right? Before I end up at the bottom of the ocean. Fucking good luck with that. Put the weapons down, boys. See what mate, we're gonna kick off now. Got you. Anti-American outfit. Put your weapons down, all of you. Who the fuck are you with? With me. You fucking rat. I knew you didn't have the balls for this. For the record, I'm a patriot. I love my country. Put the weapons down. Fuck you. We all know you agency boys are ball deep in a plot to drive up your funding by any means necessary. Put the gun down, gentlemen. Who the fuck are they? Fucking Merriweather. What are they doing here? Steve, put your gun down. No, oh, same goddamn way. Go! Fuck! <laughs> same goddamn leg. Yeah, wait for it. I think it was in the best bitch yet. How is he getting up from out? Just shot him three times, four times. Sec, battery's gonna die on my controller. Oh, thank you very much. I'll do all right. <laughs> oh. Here we go. Good old Trevor. Can't see him, why? Why can't I zoom in? Oh, 
can't zoom in. Why is it not letting me zoom in? That's weird. Don't get that. Die, mm. Why is it not? I don't get why it's not letting me zoom in. It usually, it usually lets me zoom in. I'm not quite sure why it's not working. That's twice now. It's hard with no zoom. Yeah, understatement. Unless they've changed the zoom controls. There we go. Fucking hell. I don't understand why the zoom's not working. See, you see me now, and that's the button I was pressing. Anyway, guy who iced Brad and would ice me, I'd be better off putting my sights on him. Hanks made it out of here, and there's another group of agents looking into our shit. Right now, you're not in the position to let our only friend in the bureau be killed. Without me, the bureau will be on you 24 hours. Fuck's sake. Don't mind me. Jesus. Another Mary with a chopper. How big is their budget? Someone's got to bring down the buzzard before it blows us up. A bit late on that, take that, Dave. I've already dealt with that. Who are these bureau men trying to kill me? They're a corrupt division. Gone rogue or on the IAA payroll. I thought you were the corrupt division. Corrupt? Only a little. Definitely below average. I don't feel like you're contributing, Trevor! Merriweather, at war in the USA. What happens to Hanks? Norton gonna pop him at the water cooler on Monday? I'm not popping Steve. Jesus. I'll get close to him and I'll try to control him. That's if we get out of here alive. They didn't mention this shit in the guy's book! What are Merriweather doing at this party? You tell me. You're the one hitting their planes, trains, and boats. Just trying to earn a dime. Well, your hmm. dime put us on their radar, and I don't know how we're gonna get off it. Over here! By the reflecting pool! I'm between the fountain and the reflecting pool! Got a fucking world his wife coming at us now. Yes. Defend me. Ah. Jesus, one bullet. Any other divisions of government want to show up? They're done. I got to get out before someone clocks my chopper. Hey, thanks, T. This is our shot. I'm making a run for the parking lot. Get clear or we'll talk. Go up this way. This many bodies, there'll be cars in the lot. Put as much dirt between you and this place as you can. And do not contact me until you're absolutely sure you're clear. Take that shit down. 
This one's mine. Good luck. Be careful, Davy. Mike, before you disappear, we need to have a conversation. So conversate. Not here. Meet me behind the pawn shop in Morningwood. Grab that son of a bitch! Oh, I need some fast fucking car to get the fuck out of Dodge. And that'll do nicely. That's it. That's great. Yeah, you just take your time. It's like the scene from Heat. God, yeah, just a bit. Now I've got a chopper coming on me. That sounded wrong. The bank heist. Yeah, that's right. God, that was some film that was. Did I just lose the chopper that easy? Usually it chases me down and fires like missiles at me. Surprised how. Oh, it's an absolute blind. I might watch that tomorrow. I ain't watched it in so. Oh, you twat. I ain't watched it in so long. Such a good film. I might try and complete the game tonight actually because there's not much left of this game. It just seemed a bit silly to kind of stop when I've only got, probably got about 20 minutes to half an hour left of the game. Come on, fuck off. Oh, what the f... Fucking <laughs> hell. Cock sucker. <laughs> I've got meat in here. Where is he? Oh, this alleyway. Well, that was fun. What are you doing, smoking? Huh? No, no, no. That's bad for you, don't you know, huh? Yeah, well, maybe it's got a little something to do with being caught in the middle of a three-way firefight between two government agencies and a private militia. You know, that gets me a little stressed out. Okay, but we still need you alive, Mikey boy. I mean, you know, at least for now. Unless, of course, you have another surprise for me. Huh? Maybe something to do with another inappropriate friendship? Yeah, that wasn't exactly Dave's fault. No. no. He's just the friendly face of a corrupt government agency looking to further his career by dealing with an equally corrupt and full of the fucking brim with bullshit low end hood. Okay, that's the last drink. I've been meaning to die. You know, I haven't meaning to die. I haven't meaning to die. That you stabbed me in the back, or that you were, and always will be, a worthless wretch who deserves to be put under. Yeah, well, what the fuck, fuck did you come back for? Oh, you know why. Ah, oh, no, no, no. One last score. Mm hmm. And if it goes good, guess what? I don't have to put a little bullet in your head, but if it goes bad, well, that's okay, too. Because then you and I get to go to hell, and I get to spend the rest of eternity with you, tormenting you. Well, <coughs> I guess it's on then. Yeah, I guess it is. Call Lester. Let's go. On speakerphone. Hey, it's me. I know. How'd it go? Just fabulous. Ran into an old friend. One last score, and he just almost died. Yeah. Pretty much. Pretty much. <laughs> Still go on <sighs> All right, when it looks like it's a go, I'll contact you. And remember this, gentlemen. If we pull this off, we will be making history. Sorted, nasty. Phrased history. But history, nonetheless. All right. There. You happy? Fucking thrilled. Don't forget, amigo. Keep my eye on you. Depraved history. Yeah, not much. <laughs> huh. 
Oh, okay. I've got to be Franklin now. Yeah, I'm not far from finishing the game, so might as well just keep going a little bit longer. Okay, you shall go for a burger and fries. <laughs> what the fuck? Why did he stop? I should do a burger and fries right now. I'm fucking hungry. It's a bit of a silly time to be eating though, so. The it's a knitting circle. Wow. The only thing, going back to Franklin's fancy pad just takes way too long. No, well, fuck it. <laughs> oh my god. The wall just came at me, I didn't even see it coming. to get back down there. Hmm. Disarono. Mate, I love Disarono. I need to get back down there, but I don't want to go all the way round. Ah, fuck it. Off road, baby. Oh. Oh, crikey, my TV's going to turn off in five minutes. I don't think so. That'd be awkward. Yeah, off road, baby. This is quite a good mission, by the way. Oh, hey. Hey. What you doing here? I mean, I'm real glad you're here. Come here. Come I on. can't stay. What's up, babe? No, it's Lamar. What that fool want now? It's your best friend. He's your best fucking friend. For real. My best friend. My homeboy, right? My nigga. Man, fuck you. I mean, not like that, man. But no, he ain't. He just another nigga from the hood. Him, stretching all the motherfucking clowns. All he want to do is drag a motherfucker down and live in the past. In this How are you doing? A big empty house with nobody who gives a fuck about you. How am I doing? It works for me, it can work for you, uh, okay. Face with tears of joy. Well, what the fuck you doing here, Tanisha? I'm right, okay. Lamar, you gotta help him, Franklin. Man, that shit is old. Oh, I'm a legitimate businessman. How are you doing? Sister, I'm a CEO, an investor. I'm a Luma, not, not you. Oh, that's charming. That's right. I ain't saying you gotta marry the fool. I'm saying he's about to get killed over the fool you ain't put on with the stretcher set him. Joey from Friends. How you doing? Yeah, Joey from Friends. Brilliant. Did you ever watch a spin off series he did called Joey? For you? For you and your doctor? Didn't last very long. I only did like two seasons. It's actually quite good, to be fair. Just didn't get enough. Uh, didn't get enough love, like your friends. You own, I don't care how many diamonds you put in your ear. It ain't for me. Not done bad or done good. Hey, look, I'll change. No, you won't, and that's fair enough. But at least respect what you do. No, oh, never was it good. It was all right. It was all right. It was funny. Um, it was just Joey being Joey. Look, 
Um, but yeah, he just didn't get enough love, which is a shame because it's actually quite good. I enjoyed it. Yeah, fucking hell, didn't see that coming. Poor guy, battling a lot of demons. I'll go to the sawmill. Right, okay. Well, I'll just take that piece of shit over there. You can tell that um, Jennifer Aniston's had surgery done to her face because it looks like stretched out, whereas before she looked quite nice. Such a shame. It's like Courtney Cox looks fucking haggard now. But Jennifer Aniston, she before she had the surgery, she looked perfect. Yeah, Jennifer is hot. Yeah, she's had too much surgery done. That's the thing now. So her face looks like it's been stretched out. She's quite hot in horrible bosses. I don't know if you've seen that. What the hell? I was just going to say it. Courtney Cox is a disaster. Yeah, she looks fucking old. I, mean, I know they're all sort of approaching mid to late fifties. Like one of the Muppets. Yeah, I mean she was she was all right once upon a time. Ooh. It's weird, isn't it, when you think about it? Like a lot of people, they they don't even know anything about Friends now. Like the new generation. A lot of us grew up watching Friends. I think Joey and Chandler were my favourite characters, though. Lisa Kudrow is decent. Yeah, I don't know. She's looking a bit... I mean, look, they are getting on, but she's looking a bit meh. There's always Jennifer Aniston for me, man. She, is, she was fit back in the day. Up until she had a load of plastic surgery done, she looked quite good. I don't know why they do it. It's like Mickey Rourke. Do you remember him before the surgery? You look at him now, he looks fucking terrible. I just don't ever want to get old. Hot stuff. Hmm. What, Mickey Rourke? If he flicks your switch, mate. Fair enough. Oh, fuck. Fuck this up. Eva Mendez. Oh, now you're talking. Eva Mendez, Eva Longoria. Uh, Margot Robbie. Oh. Um, who else? What a woman. You ain't wrong. Um... I don't think who else. Jennifer Love Hewitt. Once she don't really do much now, does she? Marco Robin in Wolf of Wall Street. Oh my God! Yeah, you know what scene I'm thinking of as well. That's a great film. Yes, I do, sir. Oof. Charlie's for on as well. Just saying. Mm. 
Salma Hayek in From Dusk Till Dawn. Sal Salma Hayek now? My God. She's got to be like early to mid 50s and she still looks incredible. Um. I don't think who else there was. Well, I'm not really into the whole foot thing, but um, I, I'd have a beer with her. <laughs> Back in the day. Oh. Who else was there? I'm trying to think. Hey, hey, hey. Why'd you invite this stoolie, huh? Big Bird from Sesame Street. Give it a rest, ass Nah, a bit too Don't yellow to for me. Now let's take a look at <laughs> the fuck I'm saying. Jesus. Um. Now me and you, we don't mind the old gang warfare, but suede box over there. <laughs> yeah. Tell Trevor I said bite me. Man, I say it, shut up. Face with tears of joy. Where the fuck is Lamar? Oh shit, there you go. You know what? Tell Trevor I'm gonna be up on this hill with my rifle. I don't want to be anywhere around him when he fucks this whole thing up. Classic. Classic, huh? He's already planning his escape. Oh, fuck. He runs away from the fight, I run towards it. I saw a few possible entry points when I got here. One, the front entrance on the right there. It's the most direct way in, and most likely the heaviest. Two, down the hill to my left. There's a bulldozer there. Might be able to use it in the assault. Three, the other side from me, by the railroad. Should be possible to avoid the worst of it that way. But I won't be able to cover you. All right, thanks. Don't shoot, and don't get too close. We don't want them to know we're here until we want them to know we're here. Ah, uh, okay. You're the expert in springing attacks on the unsuspecting. <laughs> God, this bulldozer should make an impact. Hey, I'm gonna get in position. Hey, I got a good advantage. I'll see what I can do up here when the time comes. We might stand a better chance if we come at him from two angles. Lucy Lou. Yeah, Lucy Lou. Cameron Diaz. All right, let's do this. Um... I'll take out whoever I can. Done it. Okay, I can't actually see. Just wasting time. I can't actually see anyone. Carrie Mulligan. Was well, she the one that was in the film Ryan Gosling Drive? Bro. Right, yeah. She was in Doctor Who years ago. There's something about her. Indeed. Um, there certainly is.
become a lecturer even even now. She still looks good. Bring out Lamar! We'll go away! Sniper fire! Wait, wait, wait. She really is. Um, I think Randy, else. You got a friend of ours. Katie Sigal. Katie Sigal, who's she? Married with children. She the blonde girl. The one that's in Big Bang Theory. Bill's wife. I can't remember what she looks like. You want sad motherfucker. She's not moving. No. Sent me a picture. Hang on, let me have a look. Hmm. Oh yeah, she was in uh, Sons of Anarchy. Yeah. Why not? Where are you, motherfucker? Fucking cars work, it's brilliant. Fucking hell. Engine smoking on that one. What about this one?
shit, homie. You all right? I'm straight, homie. Bitches got the jump on me, though. How they get you to come all the way out here? Man, I ain't been let a little drive stand in the way of a money yeah. making Yeah, yeah, definitely, Dave. Or get killed, Tony. Man, you always a pessimist. Nah, nigga, a realist. Because in reality, all them fools want to clap your ass. Man, what a trust that, dog. I peeped out that wood chopping place when we was up this way on that Devin Weston car lane. Nice, Chief. Awesome. Mm, sure. Stretching me up, I'm like, yeah, that's the perfect place to buy Kush by the biz end. Nigga, perfect place to clap some fool you beefing with. Man, I ain't even know at the time. I just thought we was going to parlay. Parlay? Nigga, please. Every time you leave the house, fools try to clap you. Every need you set up, homies here for the express purpose of clapping your ass. Man, you show, sure? Because I'm sure there's been a few times when... No. I'm Excellent graphics. Yeah, it is pretty decent. You buying drugs, selling drugs, or discussing drugs, talking about the weather or whatever. Um, Man, these streets is hard, dawg. This the hood you talking about. Maybe you forgot since you've been uh, bettering yourself sitting in that house. Sitting in that house on the hill looking down on the animals in South Central and shit. Man, you know it ain't like that. Do I, my nigga? Because that's the way it looked to me. I'm making the best out of what I'm giving. You know what I'm talking about? I ain't in some type of mentorship program. The only mentor I got... And we gonna do something about that, dawg. Trust me. Man, I ain't got people teaching me that white-collar crime shit. Ain't shit changed for me. Oh, you twat. Ain't shit changed for me, and you ain't helping. Ain't helping? What the fuck you called it? Me, Michael, Trevor, we all came up here to help. The unholy fucking trinity. Ballers beware when these fools rolling together. You jealous of Trevor, what happened to me and you fucking shit up? Form gangsters, nigga. So I shouldn't have called him, right? Man, I was doing everything in my power to make sure you wasn't clapped. I can make sure I ain't clapped. Clearly you can't. Next time, homie, don't come. And matter of fact, if you do come, don't bring them, dude. Man, look, let's not talk next time. Next time, don't get your ass in the situation, all right? It's the hood, Frank. That's what happens in the hood. No, the fuck it don't. Not for everyone. Dave, you know I that it happens to. Interesting conversation. In it, right? That's the shit that's different from the country club shit your overpaid ass is presently accustomed to. Man, stress put us on this shit, man. Man, we gonna get on his ass. Man, fuck that, homie. Look like I give a shit. Nigga, I give a shit. Stress do what he do. Yes. Indeed. Oh, Oh, she really is. Tried to get you killed, nigga. Um, nigga, that's the hood. I'm still here, ain't it? Just. You show sure stress knew they was gonna book me? Yeah, nigga, stress knew. Everybody knew stress knew. Tanisha knew stress knew. Oh, she didn't come around the fucking hood no more. Damn, that nigga stress janky like that? Man, you don't see this? Miss stress been screwing us from the start. Billy Piper before she stated. Since after we went to the recycling place, before she stated. The ballers try to take us down. But Stretch put in the work on D. Yeah, man, that's the vibe. Um, we yeah. met my angriest ass guy. It's before she started coking. Co right, coking. This, if Stretch was fucking oh, with God, the yeah. um, why he set us up with the deal for the brick in the first place? I'm trying to figure he out. Off and my mind's gone blank. And back, and um, on make on Grove Street. Man, you remember Grove Street? That brick was drywall. Ripping us off was probably Stretch's ideal anyway. Damn, you think so? It makes sense, don't it? Man, I ain't know him, man, maybe. Man, Stress got in with the ballers when he was inside. Played us as Mark's dog, but a bunch of them got booked. So now they gotta come back at us. So Anna Frill? Do you know who she is? Fucking so hell. So Stress says you out there what they doing a the cush deal. Then you show up and save the day. Yeah, thankfully. Man, it wouldn't even be the same if your boy LD wasn't out here getting in the shit. And FC wasn't getting him out of it. Anna Freel. Yeah. Who else? Um, top notch. Mm. Man, I don't know. That shit was fun, nigga. Don't tell me you didn't enjoy scrapping like we did back what in the day. About, um, yeah, ain't back in the day no more, dog. But it felt like it was. Scarlet Johansson. Okay, it was fun saving your useless ass one more fucking time. There you go. That wasn't too hard. You should have seen your face when I came in. You was like, shit, shit, shit. Hey, shit, man. Oh, bullshit, nigga. <laughs> you better check them draws, homie. You probably shit it yourself. <laughs> Fuck you, man. I don't care if I... Scarlet is my no one. 
Oh, really? Yeah. Quite attractive. Not about her. Really? Nigga, you think I'm yeah. some angel come to take your ass somewhere you never going to. You pray to your white man God, homie. I'm going to the great plain beyond where the buffalo keep on roaming and the little squall bitches want me to nut on their face all day. Bitch, please. Freak. <laughs> nigga, so I guess, I guess what we learned is, nigga don't think it ain't no fun if he had fucking with the homies, nigga, you feel me, my nigga? <laughs> I guess you can look at it like that. Hey, but on some real shit, my nigga, uh, you know you nigga out here doing VAD, man. Why don't you sign me a few dollars or something? You know what I'm talking about? It's hard out here and shit. Oh, shit, my nigga. That's nothing. Shit, nigga. I know you done went all Illuminati and shit. J-Lo? You know what I'm Leaving the street niggas in the back. But... Holy Valence. Yeah. Man, uh, way to keep a nigga 100%. down, my nigga. I mean, thank you. I guess it's payment for all the work a nigga put in for you getting them cars and shit. You know what I'm talking about? Give a nigga just enough money to get him a little 40 ounce in the bucket of chicken on the way to the pole house, huh? Man, don't be like that, dawg. Because number one, I never got paid for them Please motherfucking hurry. calls. Number two, I saved your motherfucking ass. No matter how many times you won that time. Yeah. You that kill, I saved you, dog. Yeah, sure. Huh. My nigga, I thought we was homies for life. Me too, but I thought we was trying to get out of this bullshit. You live in a fantasy, homie. The best thing you can hope for is a big turn off of your motherfucking funeral. Nigga, ain't nobody coming to your funeral. What? Man, what about all the motherfucking times I saved your life, homie? What about that? Oh, thank you, homie. Thanks for leaving your nigga in the backfield. You know what, my nigga? If your ass can just act civilized, you would get some work. But instead, you want to be this game-banging mad dog and asshole. Oh, my bad, Mr. Gold Card. Excuse me, sir. Thank you for helping out a post street nigga like me, sir. You can go now, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Nigga, who you think I am, nigga? Well, fuck you, Lamar. Nah, fuck you, F, nigga. I thought we was homies, nigga. But that's some shit that just got past you, my nigga. You know what, dawg? If something good comes up, I hit my dude, man. Chill out, all right? Yeah, whatever, nigga. You just hit me when you find out what the true concept of friendship is, nigga. We came from the sandbox together. I know that. I got you, What about Alicia Dixon? I got you. Yeah, whatever, nigga. I'm in the turf, nigga. If you remember where that is. Liz Hurley and Kelly Brook. Oh. Hello, Franklin. I ain't talking. We done, Hey, man. we ain't done yet, homie. Not yet. Nearly. Man, what the fuck y'all want me to do? Kill the president? Fuck his wife or something? Or invade some fucking country? <laughs> no, no. Something more sensible. Something that's gotta be done. Hey, when the timing's right, you're gonna take old Trevor and put him out the pasture, homie. Michael will be sensible, but Trevor... Trevor won't be. Trevor is a liability that none of us can afford. <laughs> man, Trevor saved you. He said Alicia is sexy. Indeed. Hey, when we give you the word, Amanda Holden. Man, get Michael to do it. Me and Trevor cool, dog. Michael can't do it. Trevor won't let him near. That's why it's up to you, homie. Hey, who is that? Nobody. Don't worry about it, nigga. Hey. Lost an ass, nigga.
Katie French was the best ever before she died. Katie French. Jeez, I'm going to have to Google that one. Katie French. Irish model who overdosed at a house party. Wow. Yo, let's meet up tomorrow. What a shame. Yeah, she was hot. <laughs> she overdosed at a house party, you say? What a waste. That's the thing, man. Drugs are, t drugs are such a bad thing. Once you're hooked, you're hooked. Photos don't do her justice. Yeah, she looks absolutely well, she looks absolutely incredible. <laughs> yeah, she looked pretty dace, mate. Pretty dace. Heidi Klum, would you do her? God knows what people must be thinking if they've just joined the stream, Jesus. <laughs> We're talking about beautiful women. This is where everyone disappears now. I've got three people watching, watching them all go now. Good. I saved you again, Davey. Again. So what are you going to do for me about Haynes, the rest of the FIB, the IAA, and everyone else, huh? History's written by the living. Heidi Klum is nice. Oh. On Agent Sanchez. I get that story right and the agency and bureau will back off. The problem we need to deal with is Trevor. Trevor? Why? Try Merriweather, Chinese gangsters, general insanity, and so on. I can spin Steve that you're controllable, but not Trevor. Steve. He's our wounded hero right now. Ooh. I gotta cozy up to him. Calm him down. Just get me out. Frick. It's the pre premiere of uh, Michael's film, well, the film that he's executive executive producer of. I can I can't speak properly. So, Dave, what was your prediction for the uh, for the game tomorrow? Woo, my dad's a movie producer! 
Jimmy, get back down here. Leave a tool three high and one up. Jimmy, yeah, I, I don't I'm really see United out getting anything out of that. Without ever having to work, and I'm gonna get a sports car and a drug habit before appearing on reality rehab show. And <laughs> I'm gonna sell my story and become really judgmental. And I'm gonna use all the contacts I make in treatment programs to become a producer too. And I'm gonna make even shittier movies than my dad does. Cause I don't care about movies like him. For me, it's just an opportunity thing. Woo! Yeah! You see the Strizz Edge losers? Jizzle in the movie bizzle. Hear that, Vinewood? You hear that, Vinewood? Hey, I hear it, and I don't like it. We're going to the Oriental Theater on Vinewood Boulevard! Get back down here! And not to, like, gawk at celebrities from behind a barrier. We're actually, like, properly invited. V to the I to the P. Jimmy! Read my neck rolls. Jesus, he don't stop talking, this little twat. N-T. Shut up. You know, I'm really proud of you, even though you did make a pretty shitty movie. Oh, well, thank you, Jim. Where are the girls? Uh, they're at home. You know, they'll uh, express their pride by showing up in late. Uh, of course they will. And uh, have you ever uh, thought maybe I shouldn't shoot sex scenes in a green screen kind of environment? Yeah, yeah, it's, uh, the thought has uh, crossed my mind. So. It's the Oscars. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Page Laszlo on the red carpet of Meltdown. Some big stars, some beautiful dresses. We're going to see some side boot tonight. Come on. We did it! Solomon! We fucking did it! Fucking A! <laughs> Fuck you, fate! I may be a lecherous old has-been, but I'm a has-been with a premiere at the Oriental Theater on Vinewood Boulevard. I'll see you in there, Chip. Hey, thanks. Enjoy the picture, everyone! Mr. Richards! Mr. Richards, hi. If I could just bother you for a second. Um, I'm Laszlo from uh, Fame or Shame. Um, I do some acting on the side. I was wondering if... Uh... Oh, yeah, of course. You should come see me, kid. I think I got a project that would be perfect for you. Oh, that's fantastic. It's called The Closet. Really <laughs> modern stuff. <laughs> Pervert. Come on. No, no, no. Just go over here. Lying, okay? I never had surgery. Come on. Milton, Milton, hi. Sorry to bother you. Quick question. Get in here tight. Um... Love, love, loved the movie. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate it. When, when you were that polar bear and you had to eat your baby, I mean, that okay. was... Okay. All right, Jesus Christ. That was emotional. Can I just have a hug? That really affected me. All right, I gotta go. Thank you so much. Excuse me. Excuse me. Come on. Come on, let's get in there. Ah, Laszlo. Oh, shit. Come on, shit. <laughs> Too late. I wouldn't miss this for the world. No, this prick. What the fuck are you doing here? Hey, what a movie, huh? Meltdown. Congratulations, Mikey. We did it. Hey, let's get a picture, huh? You, me, the proud producer. Such a pleasure working with you. You see, I was here. Unlike your wife. Meltdown. Yeah. Stuck at home. <laughs> <laughs> Meltdown. You're a fuck. You're a dead man. Let's go, Jim. Classic title. Oh, God, yeah. Let's go, we should go and see it. Come on, the girls might be in trouble at the house. That's where it all, all fucking hell breaks loose. This rich asshole is pissed off at me because I didn't shit can the movie. And then his lawyer died, and, and he just told me he's gonna hurt your mom. You killed his lawyer? And now he's gonna kill mom and Tracy? He ain't gonna do anything if I got a say in it. But you fucking killed his lawyer? No, I didn't. It was an accident. I would never do anything to put you in danger. Shit. All right. Okay. They'll be fine. They're tough. This is just a movie guy, right? He, he's not a gangster or anything. No, he's not a gangster. He's just extremely... Uh. Extremely rich. He says he's got all these connections. I'm sure it's just talk. Fucking dick. Fuck. Fuck. Gonna be fine. That's not a family car. 
All right, Jimmy, you keep yourself concealed. I'll... That car is a weapon. That, is that car is a weapon. Thanks, man. Come on, where are you? Come on. Well, it's not it, surely not. Fire in the hole. Nope. There we go. I don't like this Michael face with tears of joy. No, I don't buy any of Fired. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Eat this! Close this! <sighs> Loser! Oh, give me some cover! What the fuck is dead. this? Fuck you. Get in there. Drop the weapon. I told you to fuck off. I need cover now. Nice shooting. Thanks, man. Sorry, I'm just being quiet. I was just, I just want to do this mission fucking trying to concentrate or so. Not trying to sort of just be silent and not say anything. Come on, bitch! 
Oh, of course, now you'll come at us. Move in. Gotta be it, surely. These motherfuckers don't stop. Would be nice right about now. For a time. What's he doing? Wait, what was he just sat in the bloody... Where are you? Where are you? Where are you gone? Motherfucker. Bodies. Got you, dick. Uh, are you all right? <laughs> no, it's not. What was that? Someone there? I'm gonna start shooting. Fuck. Teabagging? <laughs> Dickhead. Right, listen, I'm gonna make a call. It's all gonna be okay. Stay put. Whew, that was pretty intense. Yeah, the old teabagging. Jesus. After my family. All right, all right. I, I don't know what to say. Does this change where you stand on the Union Depository? Hell no. We move on that right away. Before it gets any hotter. Well, that's smart. Uh, meet me at the strip joint. I'll get word to Frank and Trevor.
alternative to life. Hey, how you doing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, love that therapy. Ah! Fucking idiot. <laughs> I think he was one of the ones that humped Michael's wife. Michael, did you find them? Who? The person who sent the mercenaries to our house. Face with tears of joy. <laughs> Just you fucking dick to come. Oh, excuse my language. What a hit. What a hit, son. What a really? hit. You're sure? I'm positive. Look, I love you. Gonna take care of this. Hey, what's going on, brother? Time to take care of business. You know it. You never mess with a man's family. And also get this heist done as well. So yeah, are you doing a stream for tomorrow's game, Dave, or? Grace? Daddy, are you okay? Yeah, sure. Why not? Cause some guys came to our house with automatic weapons, maybe? I'm dealing with that, honey. You don't need to worry. Money doesn't matter when you're dead, Daddy. Yes, I am. My God, she's fucking annoying. Ah, right, excellent. My boy, Mike. Good to see you. Should be a good game. Yeah, yeah. I'm hoping it'll be I a good game. Your number, but they took my phone. Be good as a neutral to watch it, so Hey. Sorry I'm late. Oh, we were just talking about you. Well, don't worry. Another few hours, you never have to talk about me again, Trevor. You're the one who likes to talk. Watch your back. You too. <laughs> it's all the same. But... Fuck you! All right, excuse all right, all right, me! Enough! Huh? Enough. You're... enough! Thank you. <clears throat> okay, uh... This is it. Well, we have two options. They're both a little, uh... Out there, but then again, what do you expect? Okay, option one. We hijack their armored cars. We take the crews hostage. And then we infiltrate the depository. What a bunch. Yeah, three stages. And yeah. Lester. <laughs> we need to infiltrate the transportation grid and manipulate it to aid our escape. But option two, we cause a distraction out front. Make them think we're dumb. <laughs> well, we've never had a problem convincing people of that, have we? <laughs> the other guys will be drilling, taking what they can. You're going to be the distraction. Always the attention seeker. You know, for a guy who's always stepping on his friends to get ahead, he has an unfortunately low sense of self-worth. Okay, okay, let me show you the board. To uh, recap, these are our options. We try to make them give us the gold, or we drill a big old hole in the side of the bank and we take it out. If you're drilling a big old hole, you'll need a big old drill, a tunnel bore machine. I'll locate it, but you have to steal it and store it near the bank. Uh, they're excavating a new part of the metro network around there, so that's where you'll go in. Uh, we'll need choppers for the getaway, too. Uh, Trevor has one we can use, the other can be bought. The guys on the ground will need a getaway car, so get something fast and tough, and then modify it as much as you can to increase your chances of getting away from the cops. And it's got to be stored in a parking garage near the UD. Uh, there's going to be a lot of heat, so 
think about that. Um, per, I'm forgetting something. Uh, oh, that's it. <laughs> we'll need a train to land the gold on and take it to the warehouse. You'll have to steal it. Uh, again, I'll send you the details. Now, if you're interested in the more um, subtle approach, hijacking the armored cars and so on, huh? you've got to get some police stingers. And only cops are licensed to have them, so that's a headache of its own. Oh, what else? Um, oh, right, uh, you'll need to get a hold of and mod some getaway cars. A uh, normal suspension's gonna give out under a couple of tons of gold. Whoa, man, a couple of tons? Four tons in total. <laughs> that's what I can get the system to divert into the cage we're hitting. Fuck me! Okay, okay, last thing. You remember that underpass we saw from the helicopter? No, well, that's where I'll set up the uh, smoke and mirrors to get the cops off your scent. I've heard that before. Michael, subtle or obvious, what's it going to be? Oh, you want him to give you the medal? Okay, well, it's gonna take a big crew. Uh, two gunmen, two drivers, and a hacker. First gunman comes into the bank with you. It helps you move the gold into the reinforced hot rods. Second gunman is there to take down the armored cars and bring the hostages to a safe house. After the Bureau, I'll stick with them. And driver number one takes the wheel in the fourth getaway car, he is gonna be at the bank with you and help loading. They're a key part of this. Driver number two helps you hide... This girl, Taliana, she's supposed to be good. And she'll work for way less than she's worth, if you believe that. I'm not gonna pass her up. Can you trust your team? Uh, probably not actually. At five percent cut, I mean, I mean, our driving skills are quite good. Driving skills for this guy is quite good. Composure, vehicle choice. Uh. Now, the hacker, uh, they're going to break into the traffic system, buy you some time coming out of. The we'll only get one shot at this thing. Is this the shot we want to take? So she'll okay. be taking. So we Fuck need it. those stingers and the modified getaway cars. I knew you'd like that. Sounds kind of fruity, if you ask me. Nobody asked you. Look, this is our only hope. You control traffic in this town, you control the streets. I think it could work. It will work. Long as we're ready to move now. Come on. I'll take you to the equipment. Fucking asshole. Alright, let's go. Okay, here we go. If it's possible, I might be coming immune to boobies. <laughs> immune to boobies. All systems go. Yeah, this is the big one. Okay. So, I need to find the police stingers. Then I've got to find the cars. So that's going to be the painful thing. Because it takes ages to find these sodding cars. Oh, you absolute dick. Whoa, what? Oh, I see you keep crashing into my car. Yeah, the gauntlets, I've got to find them. They're going to be the pain in the ass to find. Yeah, as if it was ever going to be that easy. Right, there we 
we go. So there's the copper's van. Oh. Where the hell am I going? Okay, that's the easy part done. Um, now I've got to find these bloody cars. Nicely done. Yeah, it was too easy. That sounded big headed. It, it was Lester, quite easy. I got the spike strips we need. It's the okay. car now, finding these cars that's gonna be the hard the hard part. The Search, try and find these bloody cars. It's just an online persona. It was satire. Oh, or what's he or fucking done I now? Didn't mean it. Jim, you're taking me up Bantam Canyon in this charcoal color land stalker to punish me for trolling you? If only someone would save me. Stall him, kid. I'll be there soon. You know, you, you really are funny and interesting guys. I mean, any attention is uh, good attention, right? Oh, God, don't worry. Nice. Not a bad little motor, this, is it? It's supposed to be like a Mustang, I suppose, but... Obviously, for copyright reasons, they can't use the name Mustang. I suppose they'd have to pay, like, shitloads of money to these companies. Aiden will be dying after the dream. Mate, I'll tell you what. I'll give him credit. I wish I could do what he's doing. Um, yeah, I mean, fucking hell. After last Saturday. Jesus. I mean, for me especially, I, I need to... You know, hey, give it a rest, bro. man. Fucking, okay, I had a few no tonight, but... Not as much as I was drinking the other Oh, that's the fucking car I need as well. That's the car I need. That's the car. Oh, you fucking dick. would not kill you. Shut up, troll. You gave up your right to free speech when you insulted a celebrity on the internet. Fucking dickhead. 
It was a couple of comments, some colorful language. Uh, it was. Fucking dickhead. Sorry, excuse my language. I could have got the car I needed then for this mission. Yeah, so Aiden, man, fair play to him. He's uh, enjoying himself. But, I mean, I went out and I was out till stupid o'clock in the morning last weekend, and it's just like the language. next day. Me? Atrocious language, never. Oh, fuck. They've asked the car a bloody need. Sure it is. He's a single man again. Yeah, can't knock him. Have I just gone past where I need to go? Yeah, I have. What a dick. Watch this, watch this, watch. <laughs> See you later, dickhead. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. It's all a bit of fun, isn't it? All a bit of fun, mate. Ah, oh, dear. Nice move. Oh, fuck. And there it goes. The fucking. Mm, try to keep it in pristine conditions I can because I've got a gun. There were these knob jockeys now have kidnapped his kid. So I'm going to have to give the car a little bit of damage, but no one's going to get it repaired. Do not kill the kidnappers. I wasn't going to. I might scare him a little bit. Fucking idiot, who's he shooting at? Well done. Yeah, it was um, easier than I thought it would be. And I've got the car he needs at the same time. We're going to win a chicken dinner.
That right there is one ugly ass motherfucker of a baby. And I'm oh my like, god, my this balls idiot. Are prettier than that baby. And then I send him a picture of my balls. I seen roadkill prettier than that baby. What the hell is wrong with your baby? And he's all like, actually, there's a problem with its chromosomes or something. I should have left him with them people. And I'm all like, Freaking idiot. It's actually a miracle I survived seeing a picture of its ugly. Enough. All right. He's fucking enough. I get it. Maybe that one was a little OTT, but it's generally really good times. Yeah, good times. My balls is prettier than that baby. <laughs> <laughs> he's a real bag of shit, though, isn't he? Rolling on the floor laughing. All right. Huh? You're totally following me. I'm off to bed. All right, mate. Yeah, no worries. Well, thanks for uh, for watching me on the stream. Appreciate it. I might call it a night in a sec myself. Just run out of steam, I think. So. so much. I learned my lesson, Dad. I did. Yeah, sure. And I'm a tax account. Pleasure. You take care, bro. Uh, sleep well, and yeah, I'll catch you on your stream tomorrow, mate. Let me sort this little bit out for the car, and then call it a night. I think myself. I was hoping to sort of try and get it all done tonight. But I think it's too much of a tall order, if I'm honest. Yeah, nice one, Dave. Thanks for. Uh, joining me on the stream and sticking around um ladies and gents if you haven't already please subscribe to the old school gunner um he does a lot of really good content mainly football and uh yeah he recently hit 2.1k and uh does a lot of good stuff on his channel so uh yeah go and subscribe to him if you haven't already I, i'd appreciate it and i'm pretty sure he would too so and if you haven't subscribed to me already, if you wouldn't mind subscribing, that'd be great. Right, so I've got to sort this car out, and then I think after I've sorted this car out, I'm going to call it a night myself. You know, it's nearly... What's the time? I don't even know what the bloody time is. Jesus, it's nearly... It's just gone quarter to three in the morning. Oh, my God. Didn't realise it was that bloody late. Oh shit. Oh dear.
That'll do it. Okay, so that's Michael's car sorted out for the heist. Um, I have to do the rest of this another time. Um, so I kind of want to go to bed, I'm pretty tired. <laughs> it just means next time I stream this, it's not going to be a very long stream, which is a shame. I'm kind of hoping to do it all in one night, but I literally I've, I haven't got the energy to do as much now. I'm tired and I'm moaning and I'm getting grumpy because I'm tired. Um, not really grumpy, just you know, when you feel knackered and you just need your sleep. I didn't realize just how late it bloody was nearly three o'clock in the morning. Crazy. Hmm. Okay. Hey, Lester. First gauntlet's ready to go. All right, that's good work. Okay, right, I need to now go back to Michael's to save the mission. And then I'm going to go to bed. <laughs> but thank you to everyone that has watched. Um, I know a few of you dropped in now and then and you didn't really get involved in the conversation, but you hung around for a bit, so I do appreciate that. And thank you to all the subscribers that I've got. Um, means a lot to me. Um, I enjoyed doing what I'm doing. And considering I was at like 50 odd, about, I don't know, last time I was on, I'm, I'm now hit, hit 64, which is fantastic. Um, so yeah, I'm really pleased with that. Thank you for everyone that has subscribed. It goes a long way for me. I mean, I'm only a small channel, and um, yeah, it, it goes, like I say, it goes a long way for me. I enjoy doing what I'm doing. I love gaming. Um, it's the only sort of outlet I've really got other than football. Um, so, yeah, thanks everyone. Do appreciate it. And I'll be doing another stream, maybe next Friday or Saturday I'm not sure yet it'd probably be more Saturday I would have thought because I've got stuff to do uh, Saturday morning which means me streaming would prevent me from doing that on Friday so it's more than likely I'll do a stream Saturday Oh, I 
I say? Yeah, I'm not interested in that right now. Sorry, dude. Didn't see you there. Shut up, you minge. Move out of the way. Him. My ride, my fucking ride, Christ. Oh, hello. I thought someone was taking a shot at us then. Okay, right, that's me done for the for the night or the morning. <laughs> um, thank you to everyone that did watch. Thanks to Old School Gunner. Uh, please go and subscribe to his channel um, if you haven't already. I'd appreciate it, and I'm sure he would too. And, uh, yeah, maybe watch some of his videos and just put uh, Milk Malice Gaming sent me here. So, um, yeah, anyway. Thank you to everyone that has subscribed to my channel. Like I say, I was at like 50 something before on my last stream. I'm now at 64 subscribers. So thank you so much. Really goes a long way for me. Really do appreciate it. Um, and yeah, I will be back probably next Saturday for another stream. I don't think it would be as long as tonight's. Um, due to the fact I've nearly completed the game now. So I'm just sort of got a little bit left. Not too much, maybe another hour or so. I just haven't got the... I haven't got it in my tank to do it all tonight, so um, I thought I, I thought I would, but clearly I haven't. But anyway, um, so yeah, I should be back next Saturday for another late night stream. And uh, yeah, again, thank you to everyone that did watch, and um, yeah, uh, I do appreciate it. So thanks a lot, guys. Um, anyway, that's me done. I will be back next Saturday. Take care, guys. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Laters.